it sound right, boy. Sound right, boy. sound right boy check the mic and make sure it sound right boy hello 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 happy sunday to everybody we had a good uh, friday and saturday night Trying to uh, get everything situated here so I can do it all left-handed. Oh, give me a second here. I gotta adjust the sound on my laptop and everything else so I can actually hear what's going on. I don't know why it's skipping around so much. Let me get into uh, the game here, and I'll turn the game sound up so we actually have some background uh, music. Oh, no. now it's not so quiet. Sick. It's a little muggy here today. I got it. Turn a fan on underneath my desk to uh, keep it a little chill and sweat my ass off already. So, if you uh, didn't see my stream last night, we're going to do a uh, sim only dynasty for a little bit until my. Uh, broken wrist heels and I can get back to playing my Central Florida Dynasty so we're gonna go to my old alma mater at Northern Colorado and uh, we're gonna play there let me switch cameras for you real quick yep so uh, this team is trash. <laughs> I don't know when this was made. Probably back in 2013, 2012, 2014. I don't know. So this is what we're going to go with. We're going to rebuild. I'm the pizza man. Hey, welcome in, man. Good morning, good morning. How you doing today? Uh, we're going to rebuild my old college school. Um, Ed McCaffrey, the former Bronco, is their current head coach. Christian McCaffrey's dad, Christian McCaffrey's younger brother, is their quarterback, but he, this is not him here. Um, 
2021, he's their quarterback. So, but this team is from like 2013, 2014. So it's pretty trash. We have one guy in the set in the 80s. We only have one guy higher than a 74. So it's going to be a, a full-on rebuild. Um, you can see my needs. We need 22 new starters. Actually, 24 if you count the punter and the kicker. So we're, we're going to get a 25-man class, and we're basically going to replace the entire starting team on both sides of the ball. I mean, that sucks. Hopefully, hopefully you get uh, very low um, symptoms. I had it a year ago, May fir or March 1st, so it knocked me down for about a week. I lost, uh, I lost 10 pounds in the first two days, but by Saturday, um, I had my appetite back. Never lost my sense of smell or taste, so hopefully that doesn't happen to you. Um, then I went and got a Z-Pack um, from my uh, from my doctor like the following Monday, and by that second weekend I was good to go, back to normal, and then everything got shut down. So hopefully uh, it's a mild case for you. I had a uh, a deep chest cough that lasted me six to eight weeks. That was like the worst thing about the whole experience was the cough because I couldn't sleep longer than two hours at a time because of the cough. So <laughs> it, it's hard to sleep when you're coughing all the time. So hopefully that uh, I'm going to have that issue. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so this is the this is the team that we're trying to rebuild. It's not very good. I won't be shocked if we lose every game, and I won't be shocked if we get fired in season two. Um, we'll just make a new head coach, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. Um, so um, this is our schedule. I won't be able to do custom graphics for this one because I uh, I can't use my right hand on the mouse to. Uh, Use Photoshop, and I'm not even going to try left-handed. So you guys are going to get the, all the generic stuff. So this is our, our schedule. So we're in the Mountain West. I uh, took Georgia Southern out of the game and uh, moved Hawaii to the Pac-12, moved Colorado to the Big 12, moved Notre Dame to the Big 10, moved Nebraska out of the Big 10 to the Big 12 so they could actually have a conference championship. Um, so if at some point we become dominant in this conference, then I'll move Colorado back to the Pac-12, Hawaii back to this one, and we'll go play in the Big 12. So this is our schedule. We're going to open the season against uh, in-state rival Colorado. We're going to play at mile high. Um, we may watch this game just to see how bad we are. And then we have North Texas, Kansas, SMU, and then it's all conference from there. So that's our schedule. I didn't make any changes, but we'll keep it. Um, pipelines are Ohio, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Florida, and Colorado. Um, as you can see here on the coach contracts, um, we have no team or coach history. Um, so I'll, I'll double check our team records, but we might be setting records um, as we go. So. so anyway, let's get into the recruiting. It's going to be a little slower than normal because i got to use my left hand on the controller. Let's double check that these are all turned off. Yes, they are. That's good. Team needs, these are positions we have to get, so we have to get a fullback, we have to get a wide receiver, we have to get a middle linebacker, and we have to get a corner. We're going to get a lot more of all of that, but those are definite needs. <clears throat> um, school, school uh, this is all your bonuses for recruiting, so if anybody has program tradition, TV exposure, pro potential as uh, their... their uh, they're in their top three. What's up, Bronco? Welcome, welcome. So if we have anybody that has these on their top three, we'll get a good bonus. We have a couple of Bs as well, so um, championship and stadium will improve as we improve. Um, 
this uh, where is it? academic prestige. This actually should go up pretty quickly because everybody we recruit are going to become starters right away. Um, and that's if you look in the top right hand corner, it says increase this grade by targeting prospects that do not have to wait long to be a starter. So pretty much our entire class um, is going to be a starter. Uh, I didn't make the team. I found it on um, Team Builder. I'm on PS3, so I can access Team Builder still, and I actually downloaded them about a month ago. Um, I was going to do them as a school to play the games, but um, changed my mind, and I just left them. I also have uh, North Dakota State, um, but I didn't put them in the game. Um, so... Anyway, we should have some decent bonuses to start with. We have a couple of guys in the Spark 100 that are interested. I don't know how good they are. Um, we are going to uh, see we have an athlete and we have an athlete. Both run four fives. So looks like since their squat is not in the 500s and 600s, these are offensive players. Um, so these guys are... Uh, Probably running backs. They're not going to be tight ends. They'll be running backs or wide receivers. We'll see how they are. They could be quarterbacks. Here, let's let's check this guy out. What are his skills? He's a B throw power, B carry, C accuracy. So he might be someone we could look at at quarterback. And the other one is uh, not a quarterback. He looks like he's a running back. He's not a very good running back. He's not very good at coverage, so I wouldn't want him in the secondary. So he's he's more of a just a straight running back. But a four five four. Well, I have a chart that tells me what the uh, forty times translate to. So a four five four is eighty four speed. Yeah, we definitely don't want eighty four speed at running back. <clears throat> so, um. So the good thing is we already looked at this last night. Um, we always choose no deal breaker. And we're going to go with, uh, we'll actually go top 10 for these guys. So we have 151 players that have us in their top 10. So that should be a good start. Um, let me switch screens and I'll show you this again. So you can see our needs are right there in the middle. We need a new starter at every position. So quarterback, two halfbacks, a fullback, three wide receivers because we're graduating four. Um, a tight end, two tackles, two guards, a center, so a whole new offensive line. Two DNs, two D tackles, so we need a whole new defensive line. Uh, we have some depth at outside, so I'm only going to upgrade middle. Um, need three corners because we're graduating three or four. Um, new free and new strong just to replace some uh, bad depth. Um, I want a new kicker. I want a new punter so to replace what we have, which isn't that great. We can redshirt them one more year and then they'll start for four years. Um, so we'll go with that. We're using sim, so it really doesn't make that much difference for the first year or two. Um, I will tell you, if you haven't watched before, I have a YouTube channel. You can just go to Von Rye, leave off the STL, just go to Von Rye. I have a YouTube channel, <coughs> and I have several playlists. So I would go look at the the ULM, the Louisiana Monroe one. We've done this before. I took a 68 overall team, and we won a natty. Hey, man, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that, Bronco. We took a 68 overall Louisiana Monroe team and won a national championship in, I think it was year four. It was no later than year five, but I want to say it was year four. It could be five. It's been a while. I don't remember. Um, but in year two, we went two and ten, and we had the third best recruiting class. I got fired, <laughs> but we had the third best recruiting class with a two and ten team. So um, I'm uh, I'm not going to go ham with all of the low lock guys right away unless we just can't get any players. I'm going to try and use these guys in the 60s for the first year or two um, just to just to replace all the shit depth we have and then uh, we'll start hitting the low locks 
maybe some in year two and definitely year three. But if we're having trouble getting any players at all, then we'll we'll hit the low lock guys for sure, especially at quarterback, running back, wide receiver. I have the uh, playbook on this team. Um, I have the playbook set as my uh, custom air raid player book, so we don't need a, a ton of, of good players at fullback and tight end. Um, but we're going to need a lot of wide receivers, going to need the quarterbacks, we're going to need the offensive line, and we're going to need a defense to uh, help us um, stay in games. So that's going to be the focus. Um, so that's where we're going with that. So um, holding this controller in two hands is a little bit of a pain in the ass, so do the best we can. Most everything is going to be left-handed. So we're going to sort by interest so we get all the top guys. My head coach is only a level three, so I can um, I can scout them fully for 50, 50 points, but I can't um, do insta commit. I don't have extra bonuses for weekly or so max I'm going to be is, is uh, 500. Um, I don't have a ton of points for the end of the year either, so we're kind of at a disadvantage. So. One of the reasons why I'm kind of going with the lower overalls. This is a new hat. It's it's killing my head, so I got to fix the back. Anyway, so we're going to go a little slow because I don't know how long it's going to be before I can play. This cast is probably going to be on for at least another five weeks. Um, and each episode is going to be a full season. So we'll set a recruiting board and scout and all that good stuff and we'll sim the games and we'll get through a full season and then I'll just stop. I don't want to overdo it. Plus when I archive it over to YouTube it'll be easy. You can just each episode is a season so that's going to be three or four hours so you know what to expect. So um, quarterbacks. We have some decent quarterbacks. We even have a four-star guy here. So I, I prefer to have guys in the four fives, four sixes. Um, <laughs> I have another sim only dynasty that I do off stream with Army, and I just found a uh, a four three eight quarterback as an athlete. That's going to be ridiculous. So let's go look at these guys. Um, number one there, his skills. He doesn't throw very well. Um, his accuracy sucks. This guy's tolerable. His accuracy is not great, but at least he has B throw power. This guy's okay. He's a 71. He's slow, but might have to take him just so we can get some higher overall guys for the sim. So we'll put those two guys on. Basically, my philosophy is if I need one at a position, I'll put two on the board. But since we're trying to recruit 25 guys, I'm not going to have enough room to put 50 guys on the board. So, And some of these guys are going to get dropped off the list early anyway once the other teams start recruiting them. So, um, this 4-star runs a 4-5. That's okay. 4-5 is about as high as I will go. Um, so we'll take both these guys. Runs a 4-4-8, but he's not very strong. His squad is low. So we'll, we'll take those two guys. And I didn't mean to back out of there. Give me a sec to get back in. So if you've never seen me recruit, um, we, uh, we normally get really good classes. We get really good really fast. Um, I might take this one a little bit slower. So... more of a passing the time type thing until I can get back to playing. So anybody that were 500 points um, or less behind, I definitely want to put on the board, but they also have to be decent players. I'm not taking a 59 overall. This guy is a four star and we're number one, so we definitely want to put him on the board. Same thing with this guy. So we don't have a whole lot of talent and we need 
like this. I'm not going to switch screens on you. We need three wide receivers, so I'm only, I'm only going to go with four right now. No, maybe maybe five for number one. Um, we'll come back and get some low lock guys at these skill positions. Um, tight ends. I prefer to sort by squat first. Uh, I want 300. These that's break tackle. Um, these guys are both really slow. So this 67 looks pretty good. He's got 400 bench, so he's strong. It's 40 times good. Um, same thing with this guy. I'll just put two. Offensive line, defensive line, linebackers, we all sort by squat. I want 600 squat, 400 bench on all offensive line, all defensive line, all linebackers. That's, that's what I do. 40 times are going to be dependent on the position. So offensive line, um, this 472 guy is awesome. Probably have no chance to get him. I'm going to look more in the uh, three star guys. We have a better chance of getting three stars than we do four stars. Unless we have some guys that are uh, low lock that no one's going after. If you don't know what that means, um, just stick around. I'll show you. Um, here, while we're on the subject, let me, I will switch screens and we will go to a different page here. So this is what we do. Let me know if this needs to be zoomed in larger. Um, so what I do first is find my needs. So obviously you need to replace your seniors and you need to upgrade players that are horrendous. And we're going to be upgrading the entire team. Okay. On bad teams like this, JUCOs are instant starters. We don't turn down JUCOs when you get to be a higher overall team. You're in the high 90s. You don't even look at JUCOs. Number of seniors are going to tell you the minimum size of your class. So we have 15 seniors, so we need at least 15 players. We're going for 25. My wants are the skill positions we want to upgrade. Um, in this case, the entire team. Uh -huh. You need to target offensive line, tight end, and linebacker first because they're the hardest ones to get. Um, they take, they require the most recruiting points every week because there's a lot of competition for them. Fullback should be on that list as well. Um, quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, corners, those guys you can get um, good ones later in low lock, week two, week three. You're going to find really good players that the top teams don't go after, and you can go get them. That's what number five is, low lock. Low lock means no one is recruiting them, no one's offered them a scholarship. I'll show you how that works. Number six, we scout everybody in, the, in off season. We scout all of our points, and then as we get into week one, we're going to finish scouting the rest of the, of the guys. We fill our board with 35 players. We scout everybody. Um, guys that are not good enough get cut immediately. We go find a replacement, scout those guys. Once we get a full 35 guys on the board that we are happy with, we offer everybody a scholarship in week one, unless we have insta commit. Well, I'm level three. I'm not going to have insta commit for two or three years. So, um, so we offer everybody that gives you a point bonus, which is going to be helpful when you're a bad school. And then whatever points are remaining, we usually divvy it up about 200 points a piece. That's why I'm not going after really good good players, four-star or five-star players right away. Um, we're not going to have enough points to compete with these schools, so we're going to go a lot of three-stars right now. We're going to look in the high 60s, low 70s. That's our goal. So you spread those points out to try and move up the board as quickly as you can on as many guys as you can. Um, once we get through week one, we get into week two. We reassess our board. So we look at guys that we have no chance of getting and we cut them. And by no chance, I mean guys that are 800 to 1,000 points and we don't have a good bonus, they're out of here. We dump them. Go find somebody else. That's why we go back into the pool and find those low lock players, the players that are high overalls that meet our requirements that you'll see here in a minute at the bottom of the board. Um, I'm going to show you what I look for at every position. And we're going to go back and try and find guys that no one's recruiting and put them on our board, scout them, offer them, and try and steal them before the higher overall teams 
come back and, and go after them later in the season. Okay. Um, that's week two. That's number 10 on the list. We reassess and we go add the low locks. Number 11 on there, we schedule visits as early as possible. We do not push them off later in the year to get more points. We want them in as quick as possible. This is even more crucial when you're actually playing the games and you can control the stats for the games because each player is going to have a stat goal that you um, are going to get a bonus for. So like quarterbacks, you need to throw for 250. Running backs, you need to run for 100. Wide receivers, you need to pass for 250. Tight ends, you need to throw to your tight end and get 100 yards. Offensive line, you need to not only rush for 100, but you need to pass for 250. Passing for 250 and rushing for 100 should be your minimum goal every game regardless. Regardless. So that way when you get those visit weeks, it's not a, a difficult thing to do. I don't like to just pass for 5,000 yards and rush for two, right? Even though I'm going to be an air raid, we're still going to run for 100 yards every game when I get to play. Okay. Um, so defensive, all of those swatting passes and interceptions and TFLs and sacks, you have you don't even have control of that as a user usually. So you just kind of hope for the best. Um, but you want to schedule your visits as early as possible. So if you meet those goals and you have a really good week, you'll jump way ahead of teams, or you'll have a bigger lead on those teams, and you want to you'll get to have those guys commit faster. They can't, you can't schedule a visit for a player until they get to 50% locked. So we're going to try and put as many points on the need players right away to get them to commit, so that we can take those points and put them towards our want players. Okay. Um. You really don't want to have a shit ton of players go to the offseason and have to finish recruiting those guys because you're not going to have enough points. So we need to get them to commit as early as possible. That's one reason why we're going after mostly three-star players right now, this year. Um, when we get to week eight, there's a thing called 73% locked cheese. So when a player gets to 73%, and the number one school doesn't offer him a scholarship. He won't go any further than 73%. He will stay at 73%. If the number one school offers him, then he will go higher than that. But if they haven't offered them, they're not gonna get any higher. Usually what happens is a big school will recruit two good players at a position, say, tight end, and they get one of them to commit. They will drop that other guy off their board completely. And then you can go add them and start giving them points and you will move up their board really fast. You'll get a visit, you'll get them to commit just because they cut them off the board. And when we get there, I'll show you what that looks like. I'll show you what it looks like. I actually have a graphic. Let me see if I can find it. Give me a sec guys, because it tells you exactly what to look for. Um, where did I put it? Let's see. I have it. Hold on. It's in the zoo. One of these folders has what I'm looking for. UCF. Can't find it. I'll just show you when we get there. Um, there's a telltale sign that they are that they are uh, they were, they've been dropped off the board, and I'll show you then. So Bronco the Insta commit. Once you get to level one, um, I stop offering scholarships in week one. Um, you only have like five percent chance of getting an insta commit, but it's still five percent. Um, so I will offer everybody that I'm number one on their board as soon as I get insta commit, and it it's more effective when you're level three. There is a caveat to that, and I found out the hard way. Um, 
if you are, say you're number two or number three on somebody's board and you have a visit scheduled and you haven't offered them, regardless of whether you have InstaCommit or not, you have to offer them before that visit. Even if it's the visit week, you have to offer them before you play that game. Because I had I had a bunch of guys come in one week and I had a really good game. I, I scored like 70 points. I crushed this team. I met every stat goal. But since I didn't offer them a scholarship before the visit, I had a negative 1,000 point week for three or four guys that should have committed after, after that week was over. That's because I didn't offer them a scholarship before the game. So I don't offer a scholarship until I'm number one unless I have a visit. And then you gotta make sure you offer Man, Slayer, thank you for the follow, man. Um, you offer them, at the, at the very latest, you offer them the week of your visit, regardless of where you are <coughs> in their top 10. But as soon as you get to number one, you offer right away. And you remove all of the points that you're, you're putting on that player before you offer. So say you're putting 500 points on a guy every week, and you move up to number one, before you offer... You remove all the points and then you offer because if he commits and you've got those 500 points in there you will lose those points for that week you won't get to put them on somebody else so you remove them offer if they don't commit then you can go back and put more points on them <clears throat> so anyway i'll show you all that as we go because this is going to be a heavy recruiting episode it's going to be a heavy recruiting um, series, but this one especially. The beginning of the year is always two hours of recruiting. Yep. So this is what I, I aim for players that are 67 or higher. You're going to roughly get five points of training every year. They'll increase in their overall five points. So if you multiply five times four, that's 20. So now you're looking at an 87 overall as a senior for a 67 overall. Um, as you get better and you start building your roster and getting better players on your team, and your starters are in the 80s and in the 90s, you're going to want to put this minimum closer to 71. As you get up to 99 overall, you're going to want this minimum to be like 75. Okay. Um, I have a I have a uh, army dynasty that I only sim and I only play it off stream. We've won seven straight natties. We've won a hundred games in a row on the sim. And I am not recruiting five-star players that I have that have me number one on their team because my team is so deep that I don't need them. That's what happens when you recruit this way at a six-star school. So I can show you how to do that. <clears throat> so this list down here, quarterbacks. I want a 40 time of four seven or less. Yeah, no, I don't have a Discord. I'm on 49er George. Um, I'm on his. 49er George 365 I'm on his discord I probably should start my own discord at some point but I haven't had the time or the energy to do it so maybe I will um, so 40 times I'm looking for four seven or less for quarterbacks because I run the read option and now I'm going to be using air raid in this one so um, I will probably throw more and scramble less so you know I may need to look at these guys in the four sevens and four eights because I, I need a better passer, but um, the read option quarterbacks still work well in the air raid. Um, I did a Texas Tech dynasty. I got this ridiculous athlete with 90 speed, 90 throw power as a freshman. Um, somebody redeemed channel points and named him Pat Mahomes the second. And his senior year, he was a 99 by the start of his uh, junior season. And his senior year, I switched to an air raid, and he threw for over 5,000 yards and ran for over 1,200. So, read option quarterbacks work well in air raid. Anyway, throw power. We definitely want guys that are like 87 or higher. We're not looking at 80, 81 throw power. I target athletes to play quarterback so I can get fast ones that can throw. If we, It's rare that I find a regular quarterback that is um, fast enough to play my style. Halfbacks, we're going to sort by squat because that's their break tackle. So 350 or higher. Here. Move my mic, sorry. I have this chart that I have printed off that I got off of Reddit. 
and it tells me, for example, 87 throw power. Um, that's that's not going to show up in here. 87 speed is a 448. So if you run a 4540, that's 86 speed. It directly translates. Okay, that's the lowest I get when running backs is 86 speed. They have to be strong. Um, but break tackle on a halfback. So say his his uh, his squat is 350, right? That means his break tackle is an 80. Um, his bench, if his bench is 400, then his strength is 75. That chart breaks down um, every position. So there's a separate category for like linebackers, defensive line, offensive line for squat, and there's another one for offensive skill players and DBs. Um, bench is the same strength rating regardless of position. And the 40 time is the same for every position regardless of position. So, anyway, as you see, I want as high a break tackle as I can. Sometimes we have to drop down into the high 200s. That's okay, because I'm looking for speed. Wide receiver, I just sort by 40 time and take the fastest guys and go from there. Um, if they happen to have um, high bench or squat, that's, that's even better. But I just want to get the fastest guys. Um, wide receivers, I had to talk about tight end. I sort by squat for their run blocking. And then I look for 40 times of 4.7 or less so that they can actually be useful in the pass game. In the air raid, they're not going to be as um, they're not going to be as important. You're, we're really only going to need two on the roster at a time. Fullbacks are not going to be important either. They, we really only use them around the goal line. Um, offensive line, we sort by squat. We want 600 or higher. We want 400 or higher on the bench. And we went 40 times under 5, if, if at all possible. Tackles, we can have 40 times of 5 or higher, but centers and guards need to be less than 5 because they have to pull and get out in space. And if they're slow, um, the linebackers and DNs will just blow through the blocks and, and throw you for a loss. Defensive end. We do the same thing. We sort by squat because I want strong guys for tackling. Bench 400 or more because we want strong guys. And then 40 times of four eight or less for the defensive end defensive tackles can be in the fives outside linebackers middle linebackers same thing 600 squat 400 bench 40 times of four seven or less corners and safeties same thing sort by 40 time and look for high squats because that's going to be their tackle it's going to be how strong they are to bring guys down but you still want fast guys to cover All right so here's another chart for you. This will help you break down when you're recruiting when you should cut players. And I'll go through this again as we start working on players. So say the CPU has a 230 bonus and you only have a 30 bonus. So you're already 200 points behind them. If you put 500 points on that guy, so you're at 530, and you don't know how many points they're putting on them, but you know it's it's 230 is their bonus, right? So right now, you're 200 behind in the bonus, but you're putting 500, so that gives you a 300 point advantage, right? Regardless, not knowing how many points they're putting on them. We'll go through scenarios. So scenario A, you're gaining 300 points, which is the difference between your bonus and your points, and just their bonus. So if you're gaining 300, that means you they have them on their list, but they're not giving them any points, okay? If you're gaining by the 530, they're not on their list at all, okay? If you're losing 200, that means they have them on their list and they're putting the same 500 points that you're putting because you have a difference of 200, right? So if they're putting 500, you're putting 500, and you're losing 200 points, that means drop that guy. You're not ever going to catch him, okay? Well, I'll show you how you do that as we go. This chart right here, um, 9 Lou, uh, he's one of my mods. He and I went through and, and came up with the numbers for this. This has to do with their bonus. So let me go to a player. Let me change screens real quick. So if we look at this guy right here, Martin Brown, 
and we go to his pitch info. So you get an A for program tradition. That chart I showed you, an A in the first column is worth 150 bonus points. Playing time, an A plus in the second spot is worth 120. So right now I'm at 270 point bonus. Proximity to home, he's from Chester, PA. We're in Colorado, we're nowhere close. That D plus in the third is only worth 10. So now we're at 280 points. So without ever adding him to my board and going and scouting him, I know I have a 280 point bonus. So he is definitely worth putting on my board as opposed to having a guy that has three reds and we're only gonna get like, you know, 30 points, all right? This guy, I know I can compete with Oklahoma, Nebraska, Southern Cal because I have a decent bonus. On top of that, we're only 140 points behind. So even if they're in the 300s, we're, we're still competitive. It just depends on how many points they put on them, okay? So let's go back to the other chart real quick. So you want as many green, which is A's and B's, as possible. You can get yellow, which is C, D's are going to be red. So even if you have a C plus as your number one, if you have some B's and A's in the second and third column, that's doable. You can work with those guys. If you have any A's and B's in the first column, you definitely can go after those guys. You just don't want D's across the board. The only time you go after guys with D's across the board is if nobody has that guy on their board. And we will see that in a minute. There are some of those guys, and we will be putting them on our board because they're going to be four- and five-star players that nobody's interested in. It's crazy, but they're, no one's interested in these guys. Right? So now that we've gone through the little Von Rai school of recruiting, let's go back in and start adding players. If you want to know where I found all this stuff, I watch Param Crow. I watch Flemlo Raps. The, both those guys are on YouTube. I know Param is on um, Twitch, and we know each other. He's been in my streams before. We talk, not regularly, but we we know who each other. You know, we, we go to each other's streams every once in a while. He had never seen the spreadsheet that I just showed you with my depth chart, and he was like, "Holy cow, the depth on this!" And like, "Yeah, well, that's that's how I keep it straight. That's what I have to do to make sure I recruit the right amount of players at every position each year." Um, so, um, also watch other videos on YouTube. I read NCAA's Reddit page um, and go through all of that. Um, and so I've put all this together since the game came out, and everybody's discovered their little their little thing that they know how to do in the game. I put it all together to my own process, and that's how we recruit. So I take everybody's trial and error stuff and put it to use and uh, we go from there so anyway um, let's go back through these guys so guards we have a couple of guys that meet the they don't meet the speed the 40 times are really slow but we're this guy would be okay this guy would be okay they're not as high as I want but you know we'll live with that for a year or two till I can get better this guy's definitely good Defensive end, you can see these guys are slower than I want. This, these guys are more what I'm looking at. The tackle, I'm not so worried about speed as much as I am squat and bench. Outside linebackers, I don't necessarily need, but I do need a middle. Um, and it says I need, I absolutely need to get one middle. So, worst case is I uh, don't recruit a middle. I get one of these outside and I'm going to move them in the player change in a position changes stage and I'll just let the game put a, a walk on middle linebacker on my team and I'll cut them. We have some options. Look, we have a 4 5 2 40 that play middle linebacker. So corners, we don't sort by squat, we sort by 40 time. We want the fastest guys we can get. If they have a high squat, high bench, that's that's really good. Like this guy would be nice to have, even though he's a 65. He, good, he has a good 40 time, he has a good bench, he has a good squat, plus he's a hard hitter. If we had to, we could actually move this guy to safety. So, 
some good safety options, including a, a four star, um, good strong safety options. Kickers and punters, we're not going to have anything. We're going to have to low lock these guys, find somebody that nobody's going after, and go get them. Athlete, there's not a ton of them interested in us. Um, these are the guys that were in the top 100, but they're, this guy's the only one that might be worth having. Um, we'll look at guys that no one wants for athletes to uh, backfill on corner, wide receiver, running back, and quarterback. So, anyway, so I got to go back in and start adding guys to my board. So let's get in here and do this. So now we can start recruiting. So this will be the fun part. We can look at guys we're going to put on the board. Remember, I need pretty much everything. So we've already got two quarterbacks. I need one. So we'll go with that. We need two running backs. We're going to go with this for now and see if we can get faster guys. Um, once we get into low lock, um, my dogs are going ape shit upstairs. We need three wide receivers. We're going to keep these five for now. We'll come back and add more later. We need one tight end. We're going to go with these guys. Offensive line, like I said, we sort by 40 time. Um, this four star, we probably have zero chance. How far back are we? We're only 100 points back, and... Our pitch info isn't too bad. I still think these guys are going to kill us in the first week. So I have so many guys that we need to put on the board that we're just going to leave him off. And if they don't go after him, we'll go get him later. So we're going to put these two guys that were number two on their list. And this guy that were number three. I'm sorry, we're number one. 65, 62. This guy should actually be closer to like a 67, 68. throw this guy on too. Um, guard, throw both these guys on, that's all. Guard, we're just, center, we're just going to throw this guy on. The end. Need two. I'm going to throw this one and this one. Um, D tackle, definitely him. These guys are terrible. They're not very strong. So I'm going to go back to defensive end and add these other guys, these slower guys. Um, especially this guy. He would most definitely get moved to defensive tackle. He's too slow to play outside. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw these two on my board, even though this middle right here. Corner, running out, I've got nine more guys to go and we need all of these guys we can get. Five more, right? So that's four more. I didn't take him. I'll worry about the kicker and punter later because we're not going to be, we are not high on anybody's list so I want to see once we get to week two, we'll add a kicker and a punter. I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy. Who's the highest over? Add him. 66. What is this free? throw this guy on the board and we're not going to look at hey what's up Lou how you doing man I don't know if you saw my uh, stream last night from the accident and what happened and stuff but I'm going to leave that VOD up for uh, today and tomorrow I'll take it down tomorrow you probably only really need to watch the first 40 minutes because I show you pictures of where it was and the accident scene and all that shit so if you guys are new and don't know I had a I got ran off the, my family got ran off the road last Wednesday, we could go Wednesday by a semi in Kentucky on our way to the Smoky Mountains. So, and that's how, that's why I'm wearing a cast because I broke my wrist in two places. So, let me save this right now. Before we advance, I think I still need to go in and recruit too, don't I? Or, uh, scout. Yeah. 
Yeah, literally the first 40 minutes is all you need because later um, Jimmy and Franchise and Boost show up and I have to go through the entire thing again, so... Set up the board, but I didn't scout. So let's go scout before I do something stupid here. And uh, if you if you forget to scout, the the game will scout for you. Um, and what I'm gonna do? Um, make sure. I used to sort by overall, but right now I've kind of gone towards um, s sorting them by positions because you can only scout the first twenty anyway. Um, and then you finish off that list in week one. So the order in here really is irrelevant because you're going to scout the entire list as soon as you get to week one. So, and Lou, I'm, I'm only a uh, level three, so I can fully scout, but that's it. So we're going to go a little slower with one, with this one. So let's scout. All right. So he's 82 throw power, which is horrendous. Um, but this team's terrible. So... He may or may not me. All right, so this guy is definitely staying on the list. 87 throw power, 77 speed. We can work with him. This guy is going to get replaced. We'll do that next week. Oh, and, and if you don't know, the reason why you put 35 guys on your preseason list is you'll automatically be in their top 10. Um, and so at that point, you can offer, and you want as many people as possible on your list to offer. Yeah. This team is terrible, Lou. Have you seen my depth chart for this? Here. Let's do that real quick. Real quick. Sorry, guys. So my best player is this junior halfback that's an 80. This senior running back is a 74. I have nobody else on the team higher than 74. All my receivers are in the 60s. I only have one tight end in the 60s. I have two offensive linemen that are 70 and one's a senior. Look, both my right guards are in the 50s. I only have one defensive end, in, one defensive lineman in the 70s. I only have two linebackers in the 70s. I have no, no, no corners in the 70s. In fact, I'm losing half my corners after the year. That's why I need at least three because they're going to be starting. <laughs> um, so we basically have a list of needs that are 22 starters. So. <laughs> So we're, we're, we're recruiting our entire starting team for next year. And next year, we're going to recruit all of our, our backups going forward and any other starters that we didn't get. Yeah, revamped on PS3. There's a, there's a way to get connected back online. I know there's a thing saying it won't let you connect because of some... because of exploit. I had to go through and... and download an update for I think it was hen and go on this there's a whole video um, maybe I'll find that on discord and put it out put the link on here but it, it walks you through how to actually log into the PS network which will let you then um, get to the team builder this is really a pain in the ass otherwise Let's finish up this scouting. So he's an 86 speed. He's still better than a lot of our running backs. I wish I could do a split screen so I could show you my depth chart in these guys. He's 86. He went up to a 68. That's not bad. Like I said, right now we're looking for guys that are 67 or higher. So all right, now we have a 96 speed wide receiver. His catching's kind of low, but at least it's not in the 50s. Um, he's okay. And right now we just need okay. 89 speed with 71 catch. That's good. 89 speed. 73 overall. That's good. 87 speed, but he's much better catch. This guy would be good in the slot for sure. This guy's 87 speed. He has 70 catching, 84 route running. So I don't know what's bringing him down, but he's, he's definitely worth putting on the team. Tight end, we got a 78 speed tight end. Like I said, since we're going air raid, hey USN, hey, welcome in, man. I um, Spectre gave me a, a message from you last night. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no gameplay for a while. 
can't mash the buttons, I can't use the joystick. I'm just holding it in my fingers in my right hand while I use my left one. Um, but uh, we're, we're going to do sim only, so we're just going to recruit the shit out of this and show some people that don't know how I recruit, how I recruit. So this is a really bad overall team. I don't even know how bad overall it is, but we, uh, we put Northern Colorado in the Mountain West and we uh, kicked Georgia Southern completely out. So we should see some gems here, guys. This is this is where the 600 squat, 400 bench is going to get you gems. That's how you find offensive line gems: is 600 squat, 400 bench. All right. So let's see how many gems. Let's see how many ding fries are done. I have to say, ding. Look at that dude went up to 78. He went up plus 10. <laughs> He's our starting left tackle if we can get him. And we're number two. Look at that bonus, guys. I have the best bonus. This is definitely the number one guy on our board right now. He will be a four-year starter. Okay? Four-year starter. My only problem with being a level three uh, um, head coach is I don't have... I can only spend 500 and I can't put more than whatever the normal is on individual play. Like I, I can only put 500 on a player and I'm limited in how much overall points I have to spend. So let's see if this guy's a gem. He went up eight. He's a gem also. These are all guys with 400 bench, 600 squat. He didn't go up as much. That was a little disappointing. He went up three. I think these two guys were ones that were under 600. All right, there's a gem. Wow, he went down. I don't know what's wrong with him. He'd probably still make the team because we have two guys at right guard there in the 50s. There you go. There's a gem at center. guy's a 73 at D-end. He stayed a 66. Now this is a guy that doesn't have 600 squat. Okay. And now we're done. We'll have to come back to Joe Wilson and finish up in week one. But that's a plus 10. And if you want to know how good, let me show you something. If you want to know how good the squat cheese is for offensive linemen, let me go back to NCAA 13 and show you the best recruit I ever got. This one I definitely have. Plus 16. Plus 16. He was a 64. Look at his pass block, his run block, his impact blocking strength he went up 16 points you can tell this is NCAA 13 because it's talking about time for scouting and time for calls all you gotta do is sort by squat and look for the, the highest squat highest bench and it works for uh, works for defensive line and linebackers too definitely works Let's go start the season. Hey, Lou, if you haven't seen my schedule, let's do that real quick. We're going to start at a neutral site game against Colorado since it's in-state. Go to North Texas, host Kansas, go to SMU, and then we're in the Mountain West. I moved Hawaii to the Pac-12. I moved Colorado to the Big 12. Um, I moved Nebraska to Big 12. I moved Notre Dame to the Big 10. And I did um, some other minor ones, but that's where we're at. So... It, if we start dominating this conference, it's going to be a real easy move. We're going to move Hawaii back here. We're going to move Colorado to the Pac-12, and we're going to go play in the Big 12. So it's real simple to upgrade us to a better conference at some point. So anyway, let's start the season. Enough talking. We've been talking for an hour exactly. So now we can finish scouting. Um, an offer 
I might replace that quarterback. Um, go find. We'll see. We'll see what what the rest of these guys are um, on scouting. But we'll definitely replace that quarterback. Um, maybe we'll find an athlete and throw him that. It's decent. We'll throw on the board. I think one of those athletes could play quarterback, so I might go get him and put him on the board. Because we'll still be number one, because no one's going to uh, um, put points on them until this week, once we advance. So we'll still be number one on his board. <clears throat> so, anyway. Take so so long to get through these, especially the first week. Oh, hey guys! Um, one thing when you're doing a dynasty, if you want some free um, head coach points, the cheapest way to cheese the game is be um, an independent team. Don't join a conference. You're not going to have a conference championship. But if you're the only independent team. All of your players are going to be first team all conference and second team all conference because it has to award those and you're the only team so your head coach is going to get bonus points for being having players be first and second team all conference so just a little points cheese for your head coach all right let's get in here and finish scouting so Go back to scouting. So we know Chris Smith is going away at some point. And we'll we'll dump him later because I might have to dump more than that. So let's get back down here to defensive ends. So Joe Wilson is where we stopped. So he's a 67 and he locked us out. Why did he lock us out? We're number two on his board. Playing time. What a little bitch. All right. You're gone. Fuck you, Joe Will. <laughs> How does he know he's number two on it? He, he, we might be moving him to D tackle. Moron. <clears throat> Alright, he's a 67. Not bad. 80 tackle. Ugh. Wrist is killing me. 81 power move. Not bad for this D tackle. 74 gem at outside linebacker. All I did was sort by uh, squat and bench and look for low. Uh, he's got 83 speed, so he's in the four fives. So um, we do need outside linebackers, but if I have to move him to middle, I will. We don't. I, I don't have outside as a need position, but um, if we can't find a middle, I'll take this guy and just move him. Guy's a 70, he's not as fast. This is that middle. He's a 79. So, not bad. 82 block shed, 86 finesse move. This guy could this guy could pass rush. Speed. Fuck, I could move him. I could move this guy to defensive end. I could get him to play middle. I could move him to defensive end. He would satisfy the need as a middle linebacker. But we could always get him instead of a defensive end. Move him to middle. Move this guy to end. And be better than these guys. Need to remember that. Need to remember that. And I can't write because I'm right handed. So um, we're going to have to. You guys are going to have to help me remember this shit. Alright, here's a 69 corner with 91 speed. Definite 90 acceleration, 89 speed. I'll take that. Acceleration is a little low. Looks more like a safety than a corner. 88 speed, 88 excel, 80 man. That's good for this level of team. We'll take all of that. I'll even take this guy because we need starters. Um, 62 is. Eh. I would take him just to make sure I had three. If I can find better, I will. This guy is definitely worthwhile. 93 speed, 80 press. There's a 91 speed free safety. 
Too bad he can't play man. He's a 90 speed strong safety. And an 88 speed strong safety. All right, so we need to replace that defensive end, but we really don't, right? We really don't. Let's go look at this middle linebacker. Where are we? We're number one, and we have the best bonus. So we can, he'll go to the top of the list, and he would be really a defensive end, right? We're number one, and he, he would be the middle. So we only need two defensive ends. So we can work with this. We can work with the D-tackle. Center we might not get. Guards we should. Tackles we should. Raven Gamer, hey man, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Tight end we might not get. Look at Alabama's got 410 point bonus on this guy. So we may have to come back. I may have to go get another tight end to put on the board. This guy's going away. So let's go look at. Let's look at, go look at. What do we need? What do we need? Tight end and quarterback. Like I said, we're going to worry about kicker and punter later. Because I already have two guys, I, I want to upgrade them, but it's not a complete necessity. So if we don't get them, it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> All right, so. <sighs> Quarterback, oh, pulling that trigger hurts my wrist so bad. Um, actually, we had an athlete, didn't we? We had an athlete that we could, we could go, this guy. Yeah, he was the guy. Got a good bonus. We're number two. We're only nine points back. <clears throat> so that's our other quarterback option. And he's a freshman. He's not a Juco. So the other one, we definitely need to add another tight end because I don't feel confident we're going to get either of those two guys. Tight end is so difficult. We were number two on their list. Number two there. And he is not strong. But like I said, we're, we're doing air raid, so I don't really need a tight end. So let's put John Smith on here. He, he's not going to be needed for much blocking. So scroll to the bottom, scout these two. I'm pretty happy with this list considering how bad we are. Um, He's a 65. He's got 80 speed, so that's fine. This guy's 88 speed, 86 throw power, 90 carry. This is definitely somebody we want on the team. His elusive is terrible. Um, he can be a wide receiver. Um, so we could actually, if we get the other quarterback, we could keep this guy and play him at wide receiver. But he looks like a starting quarterback to me. So I'm going to move him all the way up to quarterback so that I don't uh, forget what position. And let's move this tight end. I'm not going to be able to go as fast as I normally do just because of uh, this wrist. <clears throat> so now we're going to put these guys in order based on their overall. I'm going to leave them by position groups um, because we're just going to offer everybody a scholarship and we're going to give points to uh, particular players. And once we get into week two, and we see where we stand and we see what the low lock looks like with guys that haven't gotten any offers. <clears throat> then we'll uh, we'll come back and update this list, move guys around, add more guys, take guys off. Um, I'll try to go as slow as possible. If you have any questions, 
please post them in the uh, chat. And if I'm too busy looking at the, the game and not the the, uh, the chat, Lou has done this with me so many times. He knows this whole process. Um, he can definitely um, answer for me if I'm missing somebody's question. Um, I would appreciate that, Lou. That would be very helpful since I can't type with my right hand. <laughs> Everything's left-handed and really slow. So... All right, so we have all of these guys scouted, going to the top schools, right? Um, we have some good bonuses, other ones we don't. We'll just deal with it next week. Um, like I said, I'm level three, so I do not have insta commit at all. So we're gonna offer scholarships to everybody before we start putting points on anybody. So we're just gonna go to no scholarships going to spam X. I'm going to do it with my left thumb so that it doesn't hurt my wrist. So it's just going to go fast and we'll get to the end as, as quick as it goes. So I'm just spamming X. So this first year we're not going to get the best recruiting class because we're having to replace the shit that's on the team and all the seniors. Next year, we're definitely going to be going after some really good players. And by year three, we're going to be going after guys in the 70s and 80s for sure. Um, and that'll set us up for down the road. Um, as I said before, with ULM, they were a 68 overall. And we, uh, we won the Natty in year four or five. I can't remember which one it was. Um, With uh, Navy, it took me till year seven to win a natty, but now we've won seven in a row. So, so now we have 2,400 points to spend. So that's basically 100 points on 24 players, right? Well, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go after the guys that are needs first, because we have to fill those needs. So we're coming into needs, and we're going to look at what we have. All right, so we are down the list. We don't have a decent bonus. We're probably not getting this guy. Um, we need three of these guys. So what I'm gonna do is put 100 points on these three guys that we're number one on to try and separate us from the other teams because we also offer the scholarships so that'll give us more. And if we lose the 73 and the 67, that's fine. Um, we'll come back and add guys in uh, two, three. This guy, I'm gonna add 200 right now and that might get pushed higher. We'll see. Same thing with his corner. He's a really good corner, so I'm going to give him 200. I don't have a lot of points, but as I upgrade my coach, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to add more points. I'm only going to give 100 on him because all these teams are 100 points behind us. Three corners. There's only one point difference in these guys, so let's add. Good, and I'm hungry already. I got up at like seven o'clock today, so. All right, so now we have 1,400 points to spend. So let's go back to other positions. <sighs> Not confident we're gonna get this guy. We're already below the cutoff, so it's more than likely he's gonna insta-commit on us. Um, neither of these two guys are absolutely the greatest. I might wait because as I said, low lock will get us these um, skill players. We're only going to go with those guys. Tight end. Alabama's going to kick our ass. I won't be surprised if that's an insta commit. Let's let's hedge our bets and give both of these guys 100 and hope one of them um, we move to number one on. Um, tackles. Yeah, we're definitely giving this guy 200. I'm going to do something different and give this guy 100 and we're done with tackles. Right. 
Guards, we need two. I'm gonna give him 200, and I'm not gonna give the other guy anything. Center. We'll give this guy, we're just gonna give him 100. I think we're gonna get knocked out of the park on that guy, so I'm not gonna worry about him too much. Only gonna give this guy 100. Only gonna give this guy 100. Where are we at? We have 400 to go. Only wanna give this guy 100. It gives us 300 more. We've already got 200 on him. We've gotta give points to this free safety. Give him 150. We have a strong safety, 150. And then we're at it. T Clink, welcome in, man. How you doing? We're we're trying to rebuild a trash Northern Colorado team that I got off Team Builder, so this should be interesting. And I know Specta, I don't think Specta's in here. He wanted to know what our overall is. Um we're a 63 overall. Highly highly likely we don't win a, in a game this year at all and I get fired. Maybe get fired after year two, but we'll, we'll just deal with that. 63. Yeah, with, with this uh, accident, um, I have been waking up at weird-ass times like... Uh, the uh, next day after the accident, I woke up, snapped awake at 3.30 in the morning and lay there for an hour replaying this accident till 4.30. And then I went back to sleep and slept four more hours. Um, next day, I woke up at 4.30 and just stayed up. Um, and the next day, I think I slept till 6.30 and got up. Um, I'll wake up in the middle of the night at random times and think about the accident and then go back to sleep. So... Be glad you could sleep in as late as you did. <laughs> it's really a pain in the ass. All right, so here as I show you, coach contracts. First year, there's no history for the school. Um, do they even have some stats? Do they have records. Do they have school records? Did they put anything in? Yes, they did. All right, so we actually have school records to break. We don't have names, so we have no idea who these guys are. Not sure why it's so dark in Hold on one sec. I'm tired of my face being in the dark. Be right back. Alright, that should be better. At least a little bit better. Now you can see me. I'm not in a shadow. So this is the 2020 rosters. So that means these teams right here are the, the teams from last season, right? So Clemson has Trevor Lawrence, Fields is here, Mac Jones is here. These are the, so that's what we're competing against. All right, we've done all that. We've offered, we've given points. Um, we save this. I uh, I don't do auto save um, because every time you go into recruiting and do anything, it, it's, it stops, it auto saves, it's a pain in the ass. And I like to go back and forth in and out, so. Somebody just texted me and it's over by my TV, so they just kind of have to wait. All right, so we've done all our recruiting. We've got our board set up. We've got some guys we're really interested in. We've got a lot of guys that are number one. Um, don't have any insta commit stuff to do. So now we're just going to advance. And this is where we're going to cut a shitload of guys off this board and go find a bunch of guys that no one's after. So if you want to know what low lock looks like, if you haven't gotten that, I'll show you that. Once we get to week eight, I will show you the 73% cheese.
I'm considering um, watching some of this Colorado game, not the entire game. Just watch it. See how bad we are. Take a look at the uniforms because it'll be our road uniforms. And then we can uh, watch part of the North Texas game so you can see the home uniforms. And then we'll just sim the rest of the games. We're, we're going to finish this entire season um, today. And that'll be the end of the stream. So each stream is going to be an entire season. So. so if you miss a season, you can come back, um, catch it. I gotta fix this, it needs some more light. I gotta fix my lighting, man. I need one of those uh, ring lights or something so you can actually see me. All right. Now we have 2,600 more points that we can spend on recruiting, but we got to look at and see what the week one damages were and what we lost ground on people, what we gained ground on. All right, so we lost 565 points. Um, so we're definitely not getting Blaine Marshall because we don't have enough points to spend on him. And we're, we're five points behind on the bonus. So even if we spent 500 on him, chances are we wouldn't catch them. Um, I'd rather go after somebody else that no one is after. So we'll, we're gonna remove him. Our quarterback, we gained 75 points. Um, Texas, a and Texas jumped over Ohio State. Ohio State looks like they don't even have him on their board. So we're 265 points behind Texas. Um, we're 105 points behind on the bonus. So we'd have to give him at least 200 points, and even then we might lose ground. So we'll we'll wait on him and come back to him before we advance this week. All right. So this guy, we put no points on him. We have a 220 point bonus, which is what we went up by. That right there tells me San Diego State does not have him on their board. Southern Cal does have him on their board, um, but they're not putting many, if any, points on him either. So we don't even have to put points on him right away. Next week, we'll be number one. Um, I might put 50 on them just to make sure we're number one next week. But it's not necessary. We're the only team offering a scholarship, so we'll be number one real soon. Um, this guy, we dropped 60 points. Texas is coming strong with a 400-point bonus. Um, so we're not getting this guy. Texas will pass us next week. Um, and he's really not that great. I don't know why they're after him. He's a 66 overall. I think he runs a 4 5 40. So um, we'll try and find somebody else that's better at either athlete or running back um, that no one's recruiting. So he's gone. I know we're only 155 points back, but I know there's better players out there we can go get. <laughs> Ronnie Nance, we didn't put any points on him. We're the only team that moved up. We went up by exactly what our bonus is. That means none of those teams have this guy on their board. If they had him on their board, they would have gone up by their bonus points. So this guy is basically ours. And I don't need to put any points on him because next week we'll be number one. We, will, we may come back and put points on him before we advance this week, but it's not necessary. I might need those points at a different position. All right, here's another guy, Marcus Moore. We had a 285 bonus. I gave him 100, and we gained 385 points on everybody, which means nobody has him on their list. So I don't even need to offer him 100 because we're going to gain by 285 every week until somebody puts him on their board. So I can put those points somewhere else. This wide receiver I didn't put on there. I just offered we're not getting him, so he's going away. Remember, we need three wide receivers. Here's another dude that we jumped to number one. 
Navy offered and that's all they did. We offered and gave them 100 points and that's why we jumped ahead of them. So that's all they did was they have them on the board and they offered. So that means we'll still gain 35 points on them every week if we just leave this 100 on him. Here's another guy. The only reason why, um, who is that number two? Is it Utah? Houston, I can't tell what that logo is. Um, the reason why we didn't gain more points on them is because they and Colorado State offered a scholarship where Colorado and Oklahoma State didn't. Um, so we'll still stay ahead of these guys if we keep the 100 points. We'll actually, and if I can find a better wide receiver than, than these two guys, I'll add them to the board because we're going to get these two guys. We only need three. So if I can find somebody that's higher overall, low 70s, high 60s, that's better, we'll take them. If not, we'll take whichever one of these guys we can get first. Okay. Um, tight end. I didn't give this guy any points at all. We jumped to number one, despite Alabama having a 410 point bonus. The only thing that worries me about this guy is when Alabama doesn't get their other tight end, they're going to come back on this guy and kick our ass. This guy we're not getting. And this guy we moved up on, but we also have Navy and Army chasing this guy. So I'm going to not worry about him. And I am going to worry about this guy. We're going to go ahead and give this guy 200 points because it's a premium position that's so hard to get. We'll leave this guy in the list, but we're going to fall behind. All right, so we only gave 200 points to this guy. So that's 540 points that we spent on them. Maryland gained 405 points. So we're the only two teams putting points on this guy, but they haven't offered yet, All right? We still have a better bonus. So they're gaining ground because they're putting more points. So I want this guy. He's getting 500 points. We have to get this guy. Nobody has this guy in their list either. We're not getting Terrell. G12. Hey, man. Thanks for the host. Appreciate that. So this guy, he's not very good, but he could also slide in and play guard. Um, so we, I may go ahead and give him 100 because we actually do need two tackles. Um, we would like this guard. We have a better bonus than Syracuse, um, but they're gaining ground because they put more points. Um, so right at this moment, I'm gonna give him 500. But we'll revisit that if there's other better guards sitting out there that no one is putting points on. T. Clinic, hey man, thanks for the host. Appreciate that too, guys. Um, this guy, I'm just going to put 50 on him to stay ahead of Kansas. Striving Skate, welcome in, man. Haven't seen you in forever. How you doing? All right, this guy we really want. And we just lost 230 points. Um, I don't think we're going to get him. Even if I put 500 points on him. I think Miami has at least 500 points on him. Um, so I will go look for somebody else. I, I need those points elsewhere. Um, we just need to re revisit him. Okay. Okay. Looks like Southern Cal and BYU only offered. They didn't give them points. Because we only gave 100 points. So it looks like they're not giving them any points. They just offered. So we should be good with this guy for now. We're not getting Mark Brown. <sighs> this guy is okay. He's a placeholder. Remember I said, if we can get this middle linebacker, he's going to defensive end. And I want this guy so bad, we're giving him 500 points. Okay. This D tackle, we're going to have to give him 250. I'm going to run out of points here quick. 
I'm not worried about this guy. He's not great, and we could probably find better, and I can come back and give him points later. For example, nobody wants this linebacker. This is the guy we want to get and put to middle. So let's give this guy 100 points. We'll switch the 100 points over here. And we're still going to gain 270 on everybody without putting points. He is a backup in case we don't get this guy. Okay. Corner. Navy really wants him. So do I. So we'll fight over it. This guy, we jumped to number one. Nobody has put any points on him. They're not on their boards because everybody dropped the same amount. My favorite team is Mizzou. Yeah, my daughter's a, she's starting her junior year at Mizzou. And uh, I was accepted at Mizzou, but I was also accepted at Northern Colorado, which is the school we're rebuilding here. Um, so I had a choice to go to school out in the middle of farmland or go to school out in Colorado. And so that was an easy choice. <laughs> Even though my college in Colorado was out in a bunch of farmland too, I was much closer to the mountains to go skiing and uh, camping and stuff. So, but yeah, Mizzou, give us a couple years and we'll be uh, competing for the SEC East unless we get moved to the West with Oklahoma and Texas and then we got a lot of work to do then. Um, we got a new coach last year. He's the guy that got uh, Appalachian State to really like 12 and one or whatever that was in uh, 2019, Eli Drinkwitz. He's got a lot of charisma. He's getting everybody pumped. So we, we should be able to uh, get some good players in here and win some games. Um, so 100 points on this guy. I don't even need to give him 100. Um, I'm going to leave him there for right now. We're not getting this corner. Not a chance. So we'll go look for replacements. We need three starting corners because our, our we have three seniors graduating. We only have three on the roster. So I'm leaving these guys on here um, until we can find better replacements for these guys because the top three guys are definitely starting. In fact, yeah, we, only, we, we can only add three at this point because of what other positions I need help at. All right, so Virginia Tech's coming hard, and them going up 360 means they put several points on this guy, and I don't want to have to deal. Yeah, thanks, T-Clink. Hey, so let me take it. Let's step back here. So you know I was doing Central Florida, and I wasn't having fun because the sliders and the way the game cheeses you, and I was just toxic in my own stream. I wasn't having fun, and I know it wasn't fun for you guys. So I basically took a week off, and then we went on vacation, and then we have the accident. Um, and so now I'm sitting in this cabin in the middle of the Smoky Mountains and I can't do shit. So uh, my attitude changed. Actually, before we left, <clears throat> I started testing new sliders to make it more fun for me, but still difficult to, to <clears throat> win every single game. So once I get back to actual gameplay, <clears throat> um, you'll probably see new sliders for Central Florida. I'm, I'm going to put... My user sliders at default 50, except for QB accuracy, which will be 10, and interceptions, which will be 35. And I'm going to uh, leave the CPU accuracy at 10 and interceptions at 35. And everything else for the CPU is going to be set at 70. So in order to make it tough, but also remain fun for me to play, um, I'm going to boost their sliders towards 100 and leave mine at 50 and as we go I might start dropping mine down while I boost theirs up um, so I can continue to have fun and you can guys can come in and enjoy the stream and not listen to me bitch all the time so I'm glad to be back doing what little I can so I appreciate you guys coming in um, I'm just, I got to find a happy medium because it, I'm, I can get very toxic very fast. <laughs> I know you guys know. All right, so we're number one on this strong safety. So worst case is we'll get this guy to play strong safety. And I don't need a starter because I have two free safeties in the 70s. I'm going to move one to strong. I just have to replace um, a low overall guy. So... So let's work on the remaining points on these guys. Let's go to 
300 and see if we keep dropping on these guys. All right, what does that give us? It gives us 900 points. So let's go back up to the top and see what we can do points-wise. So let's give Jordan Young 200 points. And my son's calling me. Hold on a sec. Alright. Without fail, he calls when I'm streaming. It's hilarious. It's almost a meme at this point. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna save these 700 points right now because I'm gonna go scout some more players. We have at least seven guys we can add to this board and some of these other lower overalls we can dump if we find better players that no one else is recruiting, especially at corner. So let's go look and see if we have any low lock players. And I'm gonna go to Spark 100 first because these are the best players. These guys are going to start. And I don't even care what position they are right now. We're just going to hit triangle. And we're going to scroll through looking for guys that no one has a scholarship offer. I wish they would. NCAA 13 has a column that shows the number of offers. Um, like on this page. Let me go back one. This page here, NCAA 13 has a column that says scholarship offers. It's kind of like Madden when they show you the number of free agent offers they have. Um, and they don't have that here. That would make it so much easier to scroll through and find guys with no offers. So all I'm, you can see that little piece of paper with a pen. You guys that know what, what that icon means. We're just making sure we find somebody with no offers. And they're going on our board. Because these are all the Spark 100s. I expect to find no, nobody on this list. Um, but if we find someone, we know we have an instant starter. Like this guy, an 80 overall quarterback. Think he would start for me? A throw power, B throw accuracy. He doesn't have the speed right now. I don't give a shit. He would be so much better than what we have at quarterback. Our bonuses at this point aren't great. That's what I was talking about in the first hour. But it doesn't matter because no one is offering this guy. Not one person. He's a five star. He's going on the board. I'll get a fast running quarterback later. Okay. So now let's go back. Let me unplug this cord. It was in it was plugged into the charger, so let me move that so I can actually just set it on the table and uh, do this one-handed. So when you get into week two, if you want to find the low lock players and the best low lock players, this is all you're doing is scanning through these guys, looking for no scholarships. This is the difference. Yeah, this is the difference between Param Crow and myself. If you watch how he does his recruiting, he just starts throwing guys on the board and he won't get these guys because of the scholarships being already offered. Um, and I don't want to waste time and points. Well, if he's an 80 overall, I don't care if he's a bust because my team is a 63 overall. So even if he drops to a 70, he's still going to be better than what we've got. Um, but that's why I'm doing the Spark 100 right now. I want the highest overall players. Um, yeah, our team is so bad that we'll take um, busts if they're high enough overall. Plus, you get bonus points if they're a bow, the bust your coach does for finding a bust. It's not as much as a gem, but even if he's a 75, he's better than our current starter. And a 75 would be a bust. If you can classify a 75 as a bust. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing Northern Colorado. I find, found them on Team Builder. See that bear in the middle of the screen? That's, that's our team. Um, that's where I went to college. So I took Georgia Southern completely out. I replaced them 
and then we did some finagling with the conferences like I put Hawaii in the uh, Pac-12, I moved Colorado to the um, Big 12, I moved Nebraska to the Big 12, I put Notre Dame in the Big 10, and I put us in the Mountain West. Yeah. Yeah, when I went to this school, this school, here is a 73 overall athlete. Let's see what skills he is. So I went to this school. It used to be uh, a teacher school. <clears throat> it was an all-female school. And then at some point, they, they made it a just, you know, general population school. Um, so when I went to school there, there was 12,000 students at the school total. Um, Seven or 8,000 of them were females. <laughs> I don't know what this guy would be. Don't know what this guy would be. He's a 73 overall. <clears throat> and we do have an A. 6'5", um, 236. Dude looks like a defensive player. But he doesn't have a squat in the fives or six, so that means he's an offensive player. He's probably a wide receiver. Hell, he could be a tight end for all I know. Put him on the board. So yeah, that was not a hard decision. There's another 73. This guy's a wide receiver. I'll take him as a wide receiver because he's better than what we got. Boost, hey, Boost, you're not too late. We All we're doing, we're still in week one. So we set our initial um, board and we did scouting and um, advanced to week one um, and offered, set all of our points and all that stuff. And so now we're high on some boards. We, are, we deleted some guys. And now I'm going through finding the low lock guys that are good. This guy looks like a running back. Could be a DB. We're so bad at, at corner, he would be worth he would be worth putting on the team, but four five four. Yeah, we're so bad we gotta we have to consider him. <clears throat> Alright. All we're doing right now is going through the Spark one hundred and looking for guys that have no scholarships. I'm just looking at the first team right now, and if they don't have one, then I'll scan across to see if anybody else has one. And um, Lou, I'm probably going to be hitting you up. You, you or George, I, I'm probably going to, at this point, as soon as I can type and use my hand again, I'm probably going to have to start making my own Discord just so that I can have people go find the recruiting stuff. Um, easier than having them go join Georgia's and go through that. Yeah, moving does suck. This guy looks like a running back. Juke, carry, he's not very elusive. Spin, stiff arm. He's got a little bit of coverage. He's got some pursuit. 6'1", 210. He's nice size, even if he's a corner. Um... We'll add him to the board. We only got two more guys. There's a center. That would be nice if nobody has him on their board. Nope, of course. And the last one. 69 wide receiver. What is his speed? 4-5. Yeah, we'll take him because we, we're beggars. So we have one more guy to put on here. So... I need to go remove a player so we can add a punter and a kicker. Who am I going to get rid of? I think I'm going to get rid of this 62 corner. All right, so let's go back, add a punter and a kicker, and then we'll do scouting. And if we have any points left over at all, uh, we'll go from there. Um, we're going to go... Less than 25% locked and no deal breaker. And you can see there's a ton of those guys out there. <clears throat> All right. 
so let's go. This is hard to do. Because I have to hold the trigger and move. Ah. Alright. Hey, an 80 overall kicker. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the welcome to the board, guys. He's an 85 overall punter, of course. There's an 83. Nobody's after him. He runs a 454. Yeah, he can cover. Alright, so now we got our kicker and punter. Let's go scout everybody we just added. Yeah, we, we, we need a starter at every single position. So now we're just adding players. And you can see outside of this quarterback and a puncher and a kicker and a wide receiver, everybody else is an athlete. So we're, we're trying our best to find some skill players. He didn't go down. He's got 96 throw power, 82 accuracy. Running an air raid with 96 throw power? Are you kidding me? 75 speed is not bad. Nobody is interested. Nobody. We're going to come on the board at the bottom. It's got to be the number one quarterback, right? He's the number two. All right, we're going to offer. Because we don't have... Uh, we don't have uh, Insta. Oops, pushed the wrong one. So we found a gem. 89 speed. He can cover. He can play wide receiver. DB. Definitely not a running back. He doesn't have any elusiveness or trucking. So he's either a corner or a wide receiver. Exactly. Bobby Brown. My prerogative, right? There's another gem. 90 speed. He looks like he's a wide receiver. He's a 71. He looks like a running back that can't stiff arm. He looks like a running back that can stiff arm. He's more of a straight line runner. But look, he's look at his coverage. He's a corner for sure. <laughs> Ed Brown, 85 speed. Eh, he's not much better than what we had. Shannon Greer with 92 kick power already. 93 kick power for the punter. Let's see if anybody's put points on him. All right, we're probably not getting this punter, but we should be able to get the kicker. So since I have an extra 50 points here, we're going to remove this punter and go find another one that no one is interested in. And I'm going to make it easy for myself and just put punter so I don't have to do the other. Right, so. Come on. We already scattered him. Drop. Let's go. 79. Barber, throw him on the list, <clears throat> then we'll go scout him. We're also going to offer all those guys that we just put on the board. Eighty-seven is good for a punter. Not too far. Yeah, we may not get this guy either. I don't think we will. Nobody's offered, but they're gaining points. Spectre, welcome in, man. How you doing? You haven't missed a ton. We're still in uh, the beginning of week two. We, we just set up our recruiting board, and we're trying to find a punter that no one has recruited.
try Zach Clayton. All right, he looks better. <sighs> Just week, yeah, we haven't even played a game yet. So we've been dealing with uh, recruiting. So we found some really good players. <clears throat> Check this out. I found a 79 middle linebacker that actually will play better at defensive end. So we need one of our needs is middle linebacker. So I'll get him to fill that need. But then we're going to move him to D end. And I'm going to recruit an outside linebacker instead of an extra D end and move him to middle. So we're going to play musical chairs. And we're running out of extra points to spend. I'm not even going to be able to offer all these guys. Um, I need to find a punter that no one's interested in. We're going to go to the top schools first. Because I'm not going to waste points. All right. Now let's scout this guy. 79. Good. So now we got our punter and our kicker. And then I can't give them any points because we're not on their board yet. Um, I can offer scholarships, though. All right, so we'll have to come back for the rest of these guys. Actually, what can I do? Let's take these points off of him. Check my top schools first. Yeah, he's losing 100 points. He's losing his 100 points. All right, that gives me 200 points. So now we can <clears throat> offer. 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 give 50 more points to someone else. Let's give it to this D-tackle. Alright. <clears throat> Gotta think outside the box, man. <clears throat> so let's save this so we don't lose any of our progress with our recruiting. And we're gonna jump into a uh, sim. We're gonna sim this first game. We're gonna watch it, but we're not gonna watch every play. Um, we'll watch the slow sim. We'll actually watch them play little bit and then we'll do a fast sim um, play by play and then we'll get back into recruiting um, I want to show you the uniforms for both home and away and then once we get past that we'll just fast sim every game and get through the season really quick <clears throat> alright so we're on the road so we can see the road uniforms you can see we're at 63 overall Spectre you asked yesterday what our overall was here you go 63 Fucking atrocious. Alright, so they're good and they're they're normal. <clears throat> so this is our road primary road uniforms. We also have an alt helmet that I probably will use 90% of the time with that big ass bear on there. I love how big it is. Um, pants we have white and blue I will stay with white shoes it's just white or black so we'll just go with white and we don't have a choice on the gloves we also have that alt that looks terrible so we'll just stay with this Yeah, the players that you cannot put points on, I offer them, especially if I don't have insta commit, right? So, you can see I'm running my air raid playbook. For those of you that watched my Texas Tech Dynasty before we moved to uh, UCF, this is the uh, playbook we used for Mahomes' last season when he threw for 5,000 yards and ran for 1,200. This isn't the normal defense, it's just the default multiple D that I run. So. <clears throat> this game is, uh, it is um, at Mile High Stadium. So we're, we're doing a neutral site. Um, I, I think the next game is against North Texas at home. Um, 
if it's not at home, we'll fast sim it. But I think it's the, I think it's the um, home game. So, so anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna get smoked. At least we have some decent running backs, and we have a 78 overall punter. <clears throat> so, these are some sweet ass uniforms. Um, I will probably wear all blue a lot, and if they have the gold pants, we'll wear gold with the all blue. Noah, I'm doing good, man. How are you? My my wrist is a little sore today. Um, my ankle feels way better than Thursday after they gave me the shot. Um, I'm hoping that it takes care of it, and within a month, I'm normal on my ankle. <laughs> yeah, Bronco came in and found me. Now he wants me to get my own Discord so I can put all my recruiting stuff on there. <laughs> yeah, we, we took the first hour um, and explained the entire recruiting process that I go through. Did that just say cunt? <laughs> All right. Mile High Stadium. Not a lot of people there. No one wants to see uh, Northern Colorado Bears get their ass smoked, man. All right. I always choose heads. And we get to receive. And there's no wind, so um, we will hit R1, hit R1 again, and we're going to watch the play. And here we go. If you guys watch Mr. Hurricane at all on YouTube, for Madden especially, this is how he has an entire series um, that he does nothing but sim like this. Um, and I enjoy it immensely it's ratings based so i'm playing default heisman default sliders for the sim because i'm not playing the game um, and uh we're just gonna watch um we're just gonna let their ratings dictate what they do and don't do um i'm not gonna touch this until I get to the point where I uh, I can actually play. It would be fun to play with these guys. Um, so at some point, I will probably have uh, dueling um, dynasties. I have this along with UCF. Um, and at some point, I will leave UCF and go somewhere else. <clears throat> so... Yeah, if you import the uh, team from Team Builder, they're just going to be shit. So if you want a true rebuild, um, this is like a step above um, the death penalty here. <laughs> um, at least I have a few guys that can play. Get a first down. Yay, we got our first first down. Awesome. Yep. So if you want to play and have a chance at winning early I would grab one of those teams that's already in there um, but if you want to do a true rebuild I would get it I would get a team builder one boom there we go Reggie Reggie's our best player he's the 80 overall running back that we have so what I plan on doing is watch this entire drive and then we'll watch Colorado's first drive. And then we'll fast sim and see what's going on. And we'll jump back in and watch um, when necessary, which is exactly how Mr. Hurricane does it. So if we get some exciting points in the game, then I definitely want to watch the play. But if we're getting our ass smoked, we'll just uh, fast sim. But uh, our tight end, we have a tight end that's a 66. With our backups are in the 50s. We have some halfway decent wide receivers, so that's one reason why I chose to go with the air raid, so we can use the best players on the team right now. If I can recruit tight ends and fullbacks later, then maybe we'll switch back to my spread, which we know works. Um, thumbs hurt gaming. 
And in this case, that's appropriate for me, man. I appreciate that. Thanks for the follow. Oh, he throws a pick. Bad awareness on the receiver. Yeah, um, my problem with Hurricane is his, his playbook and his play style. Like for his Broncos one where he actually plays the games, um, I don't like his offensive style. Um, but in the sim like this, I really enjoy watching him play, like with Houston. Um, when Get this, check this out. So when COVID first hit and there was nothing to do, I couldn't ref, I couldn't work, there was nothing to do, I went all the way back to the beginning of uh, – all of his dynasties, not not his Kalispell or Minnesota NCAA, but I went back to the beginning of his um, um, NFL, his Madden ones, and I watched every single episode of every one of his Madden rebuilds um, on double speed. Yeah, so I, I, I watched every one of them in a space of like two months. So I binge watched. I would just put it on and just sit here and watch and let it go. Um, so I finished all of his NFL all the way up to his current ones and started watching those, obviously. And then somewhere along the line, I started watching the Kalispell NCAA one. And then about a month ago, I watched all of his Minnesota ones. So it's funny to see his growth as um, an announcer. And how he does his streams and stuff. I think he could be a really, really good play-by-play -play guy in the uh, for college or pro. Um, he needs to pick up the cadence. Like if you put his broadcast, if you put his videos on one and a half speed, his voice, his his talking speed is perfect. Um, I've watched every one of them on double speed, so I'm used to him talking at that speed. Now it sounds normal to me. Um, but if you listen to a live stream, um, he talks way too slow. That's my only suggestion for him is speed up your cadence, talk faster. People can follow. You're not going too fast. Um, nice tackle. Um, but I have to watch him on double speed. Dark Devil God. Hey, welcome in, man. Welcome in. Anybody that has uh, come in here and hasn't said any hi in the chat and I don't notice you're in here, welcome in. Appreciate it. Come join the chat, man. We're doing a uh, complete rebuild here of my old alma mater at Northern Colorado. And uh, um, I can't play because my wrist is broken, so we're uh, doing sim only. So we're going to watch because I want everybody to see the uniforms for Northern Colorado and how awesome they are. Um... And we're not going to watch every play. We're just going to watch the first drive on each team. And then we'll do some fast simming. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy his, his, all of his streams. Um, I even watch his baseball ones. I don't enjoy those quite as much. Um, yeah, Northern Colorado's in the big sky. So we brought him to the Mountain West. All right, we're going to hold these guys to a field goal. Awesome. <clears throat> and he made it. All right. How did I break my wrist? Um, I was in a car accident last week on Wednesday. We were headed to the Smoky Mountains, and we were on a, a two-lane country highway in Kentucky because there was an accident on the main highway. Um, so we took a detour and we got behind a semi and he uh, he didn't like us when we tried to pass in a passing zone and ran us off the road. Totaled our car, broke my wrist. If you want to watch the entire story of what happened, I have a Just Chatting VOD on my channel right now. Um, I would just watch the first 40 minutes because I had to repeat the story later when other people came in that hadn't been there. Um, and I'll show you. I, there's photos of the act, of the the car and the scene, and um, a map of where we were. So anyway, so yeah, didn't get arrested. The cops didn't take a statement from anybody. Can you believe that? They didn't talk to any of us. So I talked to a lawyer um, on Friday. So we're definitely going to pursue this. 
Sacked. Not a good second. Not a good second drive. We were driving on the other one, and this time we had two sacks. So they have a short field. I, I think we're going to get our ass crushed in the fast sim here. Wow, they missed the field goal, guys. Wow. Our defense is coming up strong. Offense can't do a damn thing. We, we did really well on the slow sim on the first drive. And they get a touchdown. Man, we're just going to be three and out. All right, guys, let's go. Ten yards. you got to quit the penalties. There we go. 29 yards to Hawkins. 13 to Collins, our running back. There we go. Let's get some points. Hey, touchdown to the running back. Nice job. Yeah, it's definitely easier on a PS3. Yeah, I'm, uh, Dark Devil, I'm surprised they didn't talk to any of us. They didn't take a statement from anybody. They just assumed my wife couldn't control the car and went off the road. Well, she lost control because this fucker crossed the center line and just angled us off. So. Hey, we're in this game, man. We are in this game. Turnover. All right. Pick. Got an interception. <clears throat> Three yard carry. Eight yards. Touchdown. We're in the lead. Holy shit, guys. Yeah, it was a uh, like a county. It was a local sheriff department. It wasn't a big city. <clears throat> we actually have the lead. And they've also missed a field goal on their end, too. Fourth and 13. Ah, oh, nice. Starting on the two. Let's see if we can keep from getting a safety here. And we throw a pick. And they score. Twenty seven yards. Hawkins looks like our best guy. Oh man, look at that. He's gonna have a hundred yards in the first half. Hey T Clink, you're you're over uh you're by Pigeon Forge, right? You're like an hour away from there, right? This was in uh southeastern, very southern part of Kentucky. We were uh between Paducah and Nashville. We were headed to Nashville to take lunch. And then finish our drive. And uh, there was a, a semi that uh, overturned on the highway, Highway 24, Interstate Highway 24, like 4.30 in the morning that morning. And uh, a load of pigs got out on the highway, so they had to, to gather up like 100 pigs. And so it was still going to be like an hour delay if we had gone that way. So we went off the highway to a two-lane highway to get around it and save a half an hour, and this guy was in front of us, and he took up the entire fucking road. Um, but if you, you watch my, my Just Chatting VOD, which is on my channel right now, first 40 minutes is all you need, and uh, it shows you. shows you all you need to see. <clears throat> hey, we got another touchdown. Holy crap. This team is amazing. This playbook... Is kicking ass. Yeah, Clink, my uh, son has to fly back to Knoxville Saturday morning. Leaves at like 5.30 in the morning. And then has to Uber over to uh, Sevierville um, to pick up the car. My car, which was, um, had to get repairs for the uh, power steering that went out. Um, and then he's going to drive it back Saturday by himself. Wow, we are doing a 
26 yard touchdown. Guys, what the fuck is going on? I am using my custom air raid playbook. <laughs> What a game. We're 63 overall. There you go. I knew they were going to score. All right, let's send the kickoff, and now let's watch the play. Yeah, I know my wide receiver is, is on fire. Too bad he's a, I think he's a senior. Go, run. Guys, we just found an 80 overall quarterback that no one is interested in with 94 throw power and 75 speed. Yeah, no, I didn't take the PS3 because I was not going to have any time to play. Um, in fact, I unplugged it in case we had storms here. I didn't want a power surge to short it out. So Colorado is in Boulder. CSU is in Fort Collins, and Northern Colorado is in Greeley, so it's like a triangle all north of Denver. So Fort Collins is like half hour, 45 minutes west of Greeley, <clears throat> and they're both like an hour north of Denver. Northern Colorado is more towards um, Nebraska. So it's like an hour south of Cheyenne, Wyoming. They have a, a big uh, Montfort uh, meatpacking plant there in Greeley. So Montfort was uh, the family that used to own the Colorado Rockies, and he got all his money from meatpacking plants and stuff. And so it was always fun uh, walking around town when the uh, they would burn the blood from slaughtering the cows, and oh, it was the most it was worse than rotten eggs. It was terrible. Um, Air Force is in my conference, um, so I will play them. Colorado State's in my conference, and I haven't looked at my rivals, but I will probably play Colorado every year, just make them the first game of the year at Mile High, and then play CSU and Air Force in the conference. So, sacked, got hammered. Get up. We only have three quarterbacks on the team. <clears throat> and one's being redshirted. All right, guys. We need to at least get a field goal. Look at this. We're running five wide receiver sets. We're playing air raid. Offensive line's got to do its job. So we will be heavily recruiting... Quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, and offensive line. Tight ends and fullbacks are worthless um, in this playbook. So, In fact, I'd rather over-recruit tight ends. I'm sorry. I'd over rather over-recruit offensive linemen so that um, I can just put them. Look at that throw. Oh, what a pick. Throws into triple coverage. That wasn't good. That was a nice throw. I'd rather use offensive linemen on goal line situations as my tight ends. Yeah, they do. And we're in the same conference. I'm not going to... I'm going to just sim. We have a different helmet, too. We also have a yellow helmet that has blue letters that say UNC. So, And I have white pants. So when I play George, George's team, we can mix up the... Uh, the uh, uniform. Fourth and seven. They missed it. That's the second field goal they've missed. Wow, my quarterback is on fire. He's got to quit throwing interceptions. We scored a touchdown. 27 yards to Hawkins. That dude is on fire. Hold on a sec. Let's check some stats, guys.
He's already got 300 yards passing and five touchdowns, and we're not even done with the third quarter. We're not running the ball a lot, which I can fix because right now I have it set at 40% run, 60% throw. Look at Hawkins, 194 yards and three quarters. <laughs> God damn. No sacks. Move. Move to interceptions. One pick. Unbelievable. Dude's going to have a 200-yard game. Yeah, well, that's that's because uh, of how I set the, uh, the preference. I mean, my running back's an 80 overall. Um, so I might have to tweak that a little bit. But my offensive line sucks, so I really don't want to run the ball unless I have to. Because if I'm going to pass for 400 yards a game, I don't need to run the ball. Um, we have North Texas, Kansas, and SMU next. And then we get into our conference. So if we can hold our own without a running game, shit. Once, once we get... Uh, once we get some offensive line, I can change the slider so that we run the ball a little more equally. But if I get that 80 overall quarterback with the 94 throw power, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let him throw for 5,000 yards a year. We might break uh, what's-his-face's collegiate record. Who's that quarterback that threw for 19,000 yards that, used to play, that, that was a backup in the NFL? Fumbled it. We fumbled our punt. Case Keenum, yeah. Hey, we made a field goal. We're up by 14. So just watch. We haven't watched them go this direction yet, so let's let's watch. I would love to beat Kansas with a 63 overall team. Fuck those Jayhawkers. Yeah, in this game, it's Case Keenum. I just couldn't remember his name. He's got 199 yards receiving. I know it's Keenum because we looked when Mahomes was in there. If I'd used Air Raid for all four years of Mahomes, we would have broke that record. What's wrong with Kansas? I'm a Mizzou fan. We hate Kansas. Fuck the Jayhawks. <laughs> Can't stand Kansas. Their football team is trash. I don't care about them. I just wanted to beat their basketball team. Look at that dot. Holy shit. And he's, he's what is he? While you're watching the game, I'll look at, he's a 70 overall. And that top wide receiver, if it's the 68 overall, he's a sophomore. Mizzou grad, awesome. Kind of wish I was. <sighs> My daughter's going to be, so that'll be good. One of the best schools for, uh, oh, guys got to do a better job blocking, man. She's one of the better schools for being a vet, so she's, uh, that's what she's going to school to be as a vet. She jacked up her left shoulder in the accident. It's either a rotator cuff or a labrum. God, got to take a better... You got to have more than a two-step drop, dude. Jesus. He's standing right behind the center. He's, he's got to get out of the pocket. That's two plays in a row. He needs a five-step drop. That fake handoff does no good. Now we're spreading him out. We're third and 15 and we're running a draw. What kind of bullshit is that? You have five wide receivers. 
All right, there's only 240 left in the game, so I guess they didn't want to throw a pick. All right, nice punt. They're starting on their own 26. Hey, we forced a turnover. Thirteen yards, keep the drive alive. Seven yards. What happened? Oh, we fumbled it. <clears throat> and they score a touchdown. So now they're only down. Seven with a minute three left. They ran an onside kick. So now Neil... Minus four yards. Asked the coach. Max punt, and we're not going to punt. We're just going to let it go. We're just going to eat the clock. Now Madden, Madden would punt the ball here. We're going to let the clock run out. I've watched enough Mr. Hurricane that the... Uh, it doesn't let the clock run down, it just punts. I would have still taken a five yard penalty on that. So amazing, amazing. We won our first game, scored 38 points. <clears throat> it's crazy. 63 overall team. I got an upgrade, yay. The more they win, the better we get recruits. Let's check these game stats, guys. Corey Thornton throws for 349 yards. Nine sacks. He got sacked nine times, guys. Imagine what he would have done without nine sacks and three picks. <laughs> oh, man. So we ran for 52 yards. 11 catches for 199 and three touchdowns. Four pancakes. What's up, girls? My dogs just got here. Sacked nine times and he threw three picks. Let's look at our stats. So, very even game. Very even. They ran for 168 but only passed for 202, where we were 52 and 149. Third downs were close. Nobody went for on fourth. Red zone, we had three, three touchdowns and a field goal. They had four touchdowns and a field goal. Remember, they missed two field goals. So if they make both those field goals, then they try for two on that last touchdown. Time of possession is pretty even. I can't do thumbnails, so we're not going to worry about it. Can't do thumbnails because I can't use Photoshop right now, so we're not going to have pretty thumbnails. Hey, Lou, uh, you know how after a certain amount of time your VODs get removed and deleted off your, uh, your Twitch profile? For whatever reason, I have gotten to the point where my VODs don't get deleted, so they're staying on here until I delete them. I, used, I was moving them over to YouTube to archive them so I wouldn't lose them, and they're not going anywhere. So uh, I'll still archive these. I'll create a separate playlist for UNC over there. So now we're level four, so let's get that taken care of. Increase my recruiting points. Yeah. What I may do is when I get my next one, do it in the second half so I can stay even through the fir front and you know first and second, so I don't lose ground when I get to the second. Yeah, I always do. I only do upgrade my uh, recruiting until it's completely full. 
I don't do anything for game skill. Don't need it. And I turn off Ice the Kicker because that's bullshit. Guys, guys, guys. I get 500 more points before we advance the week. <laughs> don't be so quick to advance your week if you have an upgrade. Give that extra hundred to the wide receiver. All right. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> so since I upgraded before I advanced, I got that extra 500 points. So if you're uh, starting out, I would remember to do that and not quickly hit advance week. So we're, we'll save after I hit advance week. So we're on the road at North Texas. So I'm just going to do a fast sim on that game. Oh, no problem, T-Clink. Do what you ever got to do, and, and I'll be here for a little while. We probably have another two hours to go. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I turn off autosave, because if you have it turned on and you accidentally spam the X button at the end of the game, it'll lock up your, uh, your PlayStation. So, um, I manually save everything. Plus, when you go on the recruiting page, it wants to save every time you do anything on that page. And it's just and it's annoying as hell, so I, I just turn it off. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> Damn! Hold on a sec. Need need a drink of water. For this one, um, I will go all the way up and not do the um, off-season recruiting board. Um, when we get to the new season so we'll play the whole season we'll do the um, end of season recruiting we'll do the position changes and all that good stuff and we'll get it all the way to the point where you set your schedule and your depth chart and um, look at the recruiting board and I'll save that for next stream so every stream is going to start in the off season setting our recruiting board and we'll stop before we get there so we'll do an entire season. That way you can see the initial board every single season. <clears throat> so we set two uh, two school records. That's good. That's why we jumped in XP. Let's go save. <coughs> Damn. So. so apparently while I was gone and out of commission, Revamp was sick, Fam was sick, I could see you guys were like, we're missing all of our guys, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I, I would definitely come back on and stream right away if I could. Selfishly, that was good for me because I like watching Revamp during the day, so I didn't miss a whole lot. Fam's only problem is he's on so late I'm ready to fall asleep by that point. Yeah, I saw I saw this kid was on, and then, so when I came back on, I think I was sitting out on the, the porch, the, the deck on our uh, our uh, cabin. I jumped in one of his and uh, told him sorry to hear about his, his son and stuff. So, fuck, we had we had three cabins. One for each of my son's family, and then my wife and daughter and I were sharing a cabin, and um, all three of them had their own hot tub, and I didn't get to get in the hot tub the entire time because my arm sucked. <laughs> I was planning on sitting in a tub, drinking tequila, having laying back, chilling out, going all over the place, having fun in the mountains, and didn't get to do shit. Did some did some uh, shopping. We went to a Nike uh, discount store. They didn't have much of anything. And then we went to the outlet store, and I bought a pair of uh, 
royal blue tennis shoes to match my black ones. Um, I got those for like 50 bucks. It's like, holy shit. And then I got a, uh, a purple polo for like 40 bucks. It was awesome. Uh, let's see. We also went to a flea market. Never do flea markets. We were there. They had a big ass flea market. So we walked around and looked at stuff. It was it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> I was at the flea market on purpose though looking for NCAA 14. If I had found a copy of it, I would have bought it. And I would have been like, guys, who needs a copy? <laughs> All right, we saved. A close mind to another upgrade. Not bad. So my wife's like, I kind of like going to the flea market thing. We, we should do that. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be scouring for NCAA, man. <clears throat> I did find a very old copy of like 05. Um, but it was PS2. And I, don't have, I have no controllers for the PS2 and I have no power cords. It's sitting right over there underneath the TV, you know, next to the TV monitor, next to the PS4 and PS3, but anyway. All right, let's check recruiting because we have 850 points to spend. Let's go see what that unexpected win did for us. Go to top schools. All right, so we're gaining ground on Texas. That's good. We're number one there. Number one there, number one, number one. Like I said, we only need three, okay? We're gonna get this tight end unless they uh, jump on board later. Let's give him 500 points because that's a hard position to get. We're number one there, doing good. Take his hundred away and give it to this other tackle. I haven't even checked low lock for tackles, so we need to do that right now. <clears throat> All right, he's one. I need two guards, so I need to find another guard. <coughs> Damn, sorry guys. I pre I'm uh, so sorry. Am I choking and gagging? All right, we're not getting this center. So we need to find another tackle, another guard, and another center. These guys are creeping up, so we're going to have to uh, kick him up to 400. Hopefully we don't need to upgrade anybody else. <clears throat> He's good. We lost ground there, so we have to max him out. <coughs> Fine there. Fine there. We'll be number one there next week. We'll be number one there next week. Already won. Good, good, good. Let's take his points away and give him another hundred so we can get the number one. Um, we gotta take some points away. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're good here, we're good there. We're just going to let those guys move up the board slowly. <coughs> <laughs> this guy I'm going to leave alone. Actually, we're going to drop him because we're, we're too far behind. What is this guy? Spencer Carroll is the DB. And he's a running back. We need him as a DB first. We'll reallocate some points here. This guy doesn't have stiff arm, but he's got everything else. Break tackle's not very high. <clears throat> Let's 
Let's go ahead and move him up to running back. It's not my favorite choice for running back, but we'll we'll put him up there. We have some shit at run. We need two running backs anyway. Um, William Pruitt is going to go all the way to the top. In fact, <clears throat> I'm going to leave 100 points on Jordan Young and we're going to put the other 200 on Pruitt. That way we go up 270 on Pruitt every week. Bobby Brown is the uh, wide receiver. Yeah, he looks like just a wide receiver. He's a decent running back, but not great. Travis Wilson is a wide receiver. He could also play corner. I'm going to move him to wide receiver because we need better skill players there. He's, he would be our best wide receiver by far. Um, kicker and punter is good. Alright, so we have two open spots. So let's go. We need a center guard and a tackle. Center guard tackle. Where can we lose some more points? Let's take his 100 points out from now. <clears throat> Actually have... Okay, so let's go scout two guys. Might take some more points away. Center, we definitely need a center. by squat. Not going to have a lot of choices here. He's a 65. Alright, what do we have at guard? Because I'll move a guard to center. Alright, Sean Cobb is on there. Jamar Petty is on there. So that takes care of a guard and a center. What do we have a tackle? I'll have to cut somebody to add this guy. All right, so Xavier Rob Ray Xavier Robeson. So let's delete these two 66s at guard and tackle. We're gonna lose his 200 points because he can be replaced. <clears throat> so. so now we have two more guys to add. <clears throat> That's funny. It's the most uh, difficult one to do because if you use somebody else's team builder or if you make your team crappy when you make a team builder um, you, you've got to do a lot of recruiting early on you can't just plug and play right all right so we need defensive end and defensive tackle I don't want that 59 this guy's got to go up So does he. We'll throw him on the board. All right. I haven't even looked at athletes, so we we may not get to athletes this year. <clears throat> All right. We have four guys to scout and offer. Look at that! Boom, seventy-four guard. 65 guard. 
He's only a 61. He's terrible. 68 D tackle. I'll take that. He's gone. All right. So I have one more position I can scout. We are going to offer this guy. Oh, this hurts my hand so bad. <clears throat> we need a center. <coughs> but I think that guard is going to fill that role. So let's go. Let's go defensive end. I don't want to have to sort through the list. No deal breaker. Less than 25. Seven. He's got an offer. Nah, he's a 60. He sucks. There's a 71. All right, he's a Juco. That's fine. Don't care. Let's go scout this guy, and we can sim this week and see what happens, and then we'll watch part of the Kansas game. All right, he's a 72. Awesome. Good job. Oh, this hurts so bad. I have not forgotten that we are moving this middle linebacker to defensive end. I need two DNs and two Z tackles. So if I get one of these DNs, and for some reason I don't get a decent D tackle, I don't get two decent D tackles, we'll just move an end to tackle and move that middle linebacker to end, and we'll get this outside linebacker to play middle. And this is my game plan. If we run into a situation where I, I have too many players committed and, I, and I'm going to have to cut somebody off my need list, I'll just cut the punter off. I'll keep the kicker, but I'll cut the punter. We'll just keep whichever's better out of my kicker and punter, and we'll get a punter next year. Save this. I still cannot believe we won our first game. <laughs> That's crazy. We were more than 10 points behind them overall, and we beat them. In a straight sim and see how bad we get our ass kicked in the straight sim. Ah, 38 to 7. I was expecting like 60 points. We might have to do a uh, slow sim but not watch a whole lot of it. Might play better in the slower sim. Especially on the weeks we have visits, man. Why it's so dark. It's bright sunshine outside. It's so dark in here. It's no different than my normal setup, and I don't know why it's damn dark in here. Forty nine er, hey George. I'm doing better, could be better. Um my ankle feels way better than it did Thursday after the shot. Um it's still tender. But it was tender anyway, so I'm hoping this shot makes it get better quick. Hey, look at that. We got two good recruits ready to come visit. Um, my, my wrist hurts like shit, and it's because I'm holding it down, and I'm holding the controller in it. Um, 
I'm trying not to use the sling quite as much because I need to bend this elbow. My bicep hurts so bad from being contracted all the time. You know, you're like this, your arms contracted and you got to straighten it out, man. So, if you didn't see the first game, we had a uh, we had a wide receiver catch 11 passes for 199 yards, and we beat Colorado by seven. Damn! I was actually going to. Uh, wrist is killing me. I was actually going to stream Friday night before you stream, George, but we had some friends come over and they stayed longer than I expected and chatted and and uh, so I was going to stream and tell the story and then go raid you because I never get to raid you and just take everybody over there and stay stay in your uh, stay in your stream, but um, by that point I was not feeling like streaming I, I didn't want to stream after you because I had to get up at 6 30 Saturday morning to go do this referee clinic for uh, college and uh, so I just kind of went to bed early like I was on I was I was asleep by like nine o'clock <laughs> <clears throat> so I didn't get to see your stream I can't I think I jumped in and said hi and that was it but that was my plan was to tell the story right in front of your stream so I could jump in and raid you but whatever so we did it um, last night so um, and George I'm working on new sliders for UCF when I get to play um, I took my old Mizzou Dynasty and uh, made a, a copy of the save and change the sliders so that I have fun but I still get challenged so I put myself at 50 except for QB accuracy stays at 10 and interceptions at 35 and then the CPU I left there accuracy at 10 and interceptions at 35 <clears throat> and then I moved all of their other sliders to 70 and so um, it seems to work. I still win, but it's 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 the same scores roughly. Um, but I'm not toxic, <laughs> so we'll see how that works. I'll play the whole season, and if that works, we'll just change my sliders going forward, so that I actually can play the game and not complain. And we'll just keep pushing the computer sliders towards a hundred. So, <clears throat> yeah, Jimmy, I woke up at seven thirty today, so. All right, let's go in here to our recruiting. For those of you that just joined, <clears throat> this is the number two quarterback overall. No one's interested. Well, now West Virginia is, but we're ahead of them. The dude has 96 throw power and 75 speed. Max. We're Max now. <laughs> if there's if there's two positions we absolutely have to have, it's quarterback and corner. Because we only have three corners on the roster after this season. We have three seniors graduating, and the three behind them are in the low 60s and high 50s. So we have to improve quarterback, and we have to improve corner. And... This guy, we're just going to leave him here, and he's going to be the backup option in case we don't get Pruitt. He's going to stay 65 points the rest of the season. All right, so this athlete, for whatever reason, all of a sudden jumps to 3,000 points back, so he's gone. He wasn't like that last week. So we're number one on this running back. This guy is a wide receiver. We are going to get this receiver, so I'm going to take his points away and give it to this guy to get him up to the top. We need three wide receivers, so we're good there. In fact, I'm going to take these points away and give it to this guy. And we'll look at these three guys as our top 
These guys are just backups. <clears throat> We're going to get a 69 overall tight end. Hey, George and Jimmy, um, I'm running an air raid offense, so I don't need a fullback and I don't need a tight end. But I have to have at least one of each on the roster. So um, it's not bad to have a 69 tight end that can catch. Um, but we need a ton of wide receivers. So we're running air raid. We got a 70 overall tackle. That was uh, a plus 10 gem. That'll be our left tackle if we can land him. Um, this guy is also on the list for tackle. This guy. Some of these guys are ready for visits, so I'll have to do the visits. <clears throat> we need two guards in the center, so we'll just kind of go with what we've got here. Um, we need two defensive ends. Um, have these two guys on the board. He's just a backup option. But what the plan is, is to get this middle linebacker and move him to defensive end. You're like, why would you move a def him to D-end? Well, he's got 86 finesse and 80 speed. Um, he's not great at cover. And he's got like, he, he would be better at, at defensive end. And we can move a defensive end to tackle if we need to. And then that will let us get this outside linebacker and move him to middle. Bobby Brown's a corner. We really want to get him. Spencer Carroll's a corner. We need three corners, three good corners. Okay? That's why we have six on the board. If I could get all six, I would take all six. So, <clears throat> we, uh, we just got to stay close on that race there. Kickers and punters, we're slowly moving up the board. I'm, I'm upgrading what we have. As I said before, worst case is if we have to lose a player on my need list to add an extra player somewhere else, like a fourth corner, um, I'll let go of this punter. I want the kicker, but I'll let the punter go, and then our best kicker or punter on the roster right now will just move the punter, and I'll get a punter next year. All right, let's go ready for visit. I don't. I have three guys I haven't offered a scholarship yet, so we also need to do that. Look, George, I'm in the Mountain West, so I get to play San Jose State. But we're gonna we're gonna do this visit against Kansas. And I need to take a hundred points off somewhere. <clears throat> Let's take it off of him for now. Who did I not offer? There's three guys. I'll offer this guy. What's up, Chi? Do the D-tackle. Save the guard for next week. <clears throat> Alright, since this is our first home game, I'm going to save first. This is our first home game. We're going to watch some of the action in this game. We won't watch every drive. We'll just watch some and we'll fast him and we'll jump back in like we did <clears throat> with Colorado. Um, and then we'll fast sim from here on out, I think. Kind of depends on if we're winning games or not, but I want to get a whole season done today. We're already at three hours. This is probably going to end up being a fucking six hour stream if I don't speed it up, so. As you can see, we're a 63 overall. And uh, we have some really nice uniforms. We also have we also have this helmet, which I will use quite a bit. Um, we do have white pants to wear. So we're all blue and we're blue and white. So I'm going to go all blue for this game. <clears throat> I want, I, this is the look I like the most, so we'll go with that. Let's see what Kansas is.
We'll make them wear gray. What about a helmet? Let's make them wear white. We'll make, we'll make them wear all white. That way you can see the difference between these two guys. Ugh. Yep. And George, I'm using my uh, Air Raid playbook that we used in the last season at Texas Tech. The one that Mahomes threw for 5,000 yards with. We have here, while this is loading, let me show you this team. So this is my quarterback. I don't have a, I have okay behind him. My running back is an 80. Not much behind him. My fullback is a senior. I have four senior wide receivers, but my number one dude that had 200 yards, he's a sophomore, so we're good there. My starting tight end is a 66. The rest are in the 50s, so that's trash. But that's this is this here, and this here is why I chose Air Raid Playbook. I only have two offensive linemen in the 70s. One's a senior. I have six offensive linemen in the 50s. One defensive lineman total in the 70s. Two linebackers in the 70s. No corners in the 70s, and these guys, top three are all graduating. I redshirted this guy so I could move him to strong safety next year. And the kickers and punters are passable. Um, if I get two good kickers, what we'll do is we'll uh, redshirt those guys for a year and let these two play for another year, and then we'll cut them. So... My needs are basically 22 starters. It's every single position but outside linebacker. So, we are doing a full-on rebuild, man. And so now we have to run for 100 and pass for 250. I don't think we're going to run for 100. Um, we're, we barely ran for 50 last game, even though we threw for 400 yards. So... We're not going to get all of our bonuses unless I change my slider. Right now I have it set to throw the ball 60% of the time. So, But maybe Kansas will shit the bed and be okay. I have no idea what the, I have no idea what the stadium looks like for the, our, our team either. So we'll have to see what this looks like. <clears throat> wow, we have a huge fucking stadium. <laughs> we can definitely move to the Big 12, guys. <laughs> So if we get to uh, if we start playing too dominant, we'll move. Uh, we took Hawaii out of the Pac-12. Or uh, we moved Hawaii to the Pac-12. George moved Hawaii to the Pac-12. Colorado to the Big 12. Put us in the Mountain West. Moved Nebraska to the Big 12 and put Notre Dame in the Big 10. Yeah, their stadium is not nearly this big. They have a new stadium. It's over by uh, where we used to do intramural football and softball and stuff. It's over by the, the gym where they play basketball. And it was actually not that far from where my apartment was my, senior, my last year there. Um, um, but it's definitely not this big. Nottingham Field is definitely the name. So they made it big enough that you can move to, uh, to a big conference. Let's go Eagles. Hey, how's it going, man? We're doing a Sim Only Dynasty, a, a team builder, because I broke my wrist in a car accident, so uh, I can't play the game. I can use it one-handed. So we're going to uh, Sim. These are some stellar uniforms, man. Going the wrong way. Here we go. Wish we had some yellow pants, but eh, beggars can't be choosers, right? So we're going to watch Kansas' first drive so we can watch our defense. And then we'll watch our offense on their first drive. And then we'll do some simming. And then we'll uh, go from there. Wow. Knocked that guy down. Somebody's got to get there. That was a good block. These are the uh, 2020 NCAA rosters. So Trevor Lawrence is still on Clemson and stuff. So that's that's what we're going up against. 
I didn't make the team. I found it on Team Builder. I'm on PS3, so I still have access to Team Builder. And they had multiple versions of the team on there. So I, I looked at all of them and found the ones that had the best uniforms, and that's what I chose. So I didn't look at the roster. I just looked at the uniforms because I knew I was going to rebuild this team to what I want. So I didn't really care how good or bad the team was. And uh, we won our first game. We beat Colorado at Mile High Stadium, 38-31. So we're running air raid, so we have uh, four and five wide receivers on the field all the time. Impact player, dude had two cat. Well, that was the guy. So that's the senior. So our sophomore top wide receiver was not the guy with 200 yards receiving. That's okay. We have a sophomore that's a 68. Come on, watch the play. There we go. There we go. No fumbles. That's our uh, 80 overall halfback. Oh, hey, George, I got a new hat, too, man. Let's go, boys. Let's throw the ball. We can beat these guys. They're not that high of overall. They can't be any better than Colorado. Screen, block. Yeah, 62 doesn't block with shit. If we had an offensive line, that would have been a first down. That'll make it fourth and six. All right, let's do fast sim. Fourth and one. They punted. All right. Complete, 16 yards, four-yard carry by the quarterback, holding, throws it away, and fourth down. And we punted. Hey, we held him. Two straight drives. Let's watch, see if we can do anything on offense here. Let's go, boys. Spread them out. I would prefer we throw the ball. I want the 250 passing. I don't want to have. I don't want to have us not meet either goal. I know we can throw the ball. Why we're in a full house backfield? I have no idea. This is an air raid playbook. Should be throwing every fucking play. Throw it. Oh, he's going deep. Get there. Oh. That was a rocket. Dude has an arm. Wow, that's three straight drives we've held these guys. Throwing away, incomplete pass, punt. Wow. Kansas can't do shit. Other than that long ass run, they have done nothing. That play, he doesn't have time to throw because he's like two feet behind the center. The pass rushes on him before he can get done with the fake. 
Whatever whatever that play is needs to go away because that's terrible. We don't have the offensive line to make that play. Throw it. All right, positive yards. Positive yards, we'll take that. Third and five. Those uniforms are beautiful. Love that color. I love how big the uh, bear head is on the, uh, on the side of the helmet. So right now, since I can't play, we're gonna we're gonna sim. But at some point, when I can play, um, we might play some actual games with these guys. So. Oh, he scored a touchdown. Forty-nine yard run. That dude's got a hundred yards in the first ha first quarter. Jesus. Come on, guys. Not doing well for the home team here. We got two guys visiting. We need to be able to run run and throw. Wow, we scored. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we didn't score. Fuck, we threw a pick six. Uh, I got excited for a second. We had a really good game the first game of the season. I mean, we were we were up 14 points on Colorado, and they scored late. Third and 14, fourth and inches. They're going to punt. All right, guys, do something. Let's go. I'm glad they chose a big-ass stadium so we can move to a bigger conference and it won't look stupid. There you go. Push, push. First down. Good job, Reggie. He's a junior. He'll stick around and play another year. He gets rid of the ball pretty fast when he's when he's got space and he's not standing right behind the center. That whatever that stupid play is, um, he's got an arm and he can he can run and he can you know so he's decent. He's only a seventy overall. It's gonna be a backup to that other dude if we get him next year. But nice slant, third and three. We need to we need to convert, guys. Time for some snacks. Need to eat some lunch. That was a weird animation. He's 9 of 25. Jesus Christ. Hey, at least we're consistently bad this game. Yeah. We were really good that first game. Hey, we got a turnover. Fumble. Let's go, boys. 26 yards. We're in field goal range. There we go. Touchdown. Yes. 
Collins with a 10 yard catch. That was a good uh, two minute offense there. Let's go. Don't let him score. Don't let him score. There we go. One last play. No good. They didn't have Rocky Top's kicker, did they? And we missed the field goal. Oh, we went for it instead. Our field goal kicker sucks, so they went for it. Probably should have tried to kick the field goal myself. All right, let's watch the play. This will be a fun team to play um, when I can actually play because they'll be 100% built from the ground up by myself. I'm not relying on real college players. And um, we will get snow in the stadium, which will be awesome to play in the snow instead of rain. There you go. Run. Run. Good job, Reggie. Need to get a sound emote that's Reggie, Reggie. Hey. Be right back, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had to go bug the wife to see if she'd make me a sandwich. I actually did. Get there. Yes! Yes, yes! All right. We only need 55 more passing yards. He's 19 of 42. There we go. I love these uniforms. Drop play. Nope. Scramble. That was not good. That was a perfect spread him out and run the draw play. And now they're playing the run. And now we're in a run formation. Why? Why? Why do we have three tight ends? We should have been running the ball last play and passing this play. And he pushed him right into the running back. Nice. Bad job of blocking. We just cost ourselves a touchdown. <laughs> All right. Now we're down 11. Oops. Didn't mean to... Didn't mean to, to Slow send that. Sorry. Neither kicker has a decent leg. Somebody tackle him. Tackle him. There we go.
Let's watch the defense. Then we'll go back to fast simming. <clears throat> Somebody get there. Ooh. Bent that knee backwards at a weird angle. Nice hit. Nine carries for 141 yards. Jeez. It's probably the one time that we actually stop him running the ball all day. <laughs> Yeah, we, def we definitely want Kansas throwing the ball. Boom. Yeah, he got the first down. See if we can hold these guys. Nothing worse than, you know, we just, you know, pull them to a field goal or get a turnover here. Oh, man, you ran right around him. All right, need a negative play here, guys. Turnover would be, would be huge, but a negative play. Make it third and long. <clears throat> Get there. Boom. There we go. Just like that. Nice. Get him. Yes. Nice. Safety blitz. Got it like that. All right, we're going to do a faster sim here. We got to get through some games. Got to get some first downs is what we got to get. Ten yards. Sack. Throws it away. Complete. All right. The ball back. 13 yards. Throws it away. Turns. Shit. Didn't mean to do that one. It's not the sim I wanted to do. I wanted to go fast. Get in there. There we go. There we go. Got to stop that run game. Doesn't look like they can throw where they shit, so we got to stop them from running up the middle. Thank you. All right, third and four. And first down. All right. And for a punt. Did we fumble the ball? Yeah, we fumbled the punt. No, 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 no. They fumbled. They fumbled the punt. They fumbled the punt, and we scored a touchdown. <clears throat> wow. That looked really... That was a strange uh, animation on the screen. I didn't know. I thought... I thought we fumbled the punt and they got it and they scored. It's hard to follow sometimes. All right, we're only down three with 2.30 left. Let's go, boys. 13 yards. Hey, we got our 2.50 passing. And we turned it over. Let's go, defense. They missed the field goal. Come on, guys. We got time. Fourth and one. Where are we at? 37. 22 yards. Kick the field goal. Screw it. I'm going to kick the field goal left-handed. Let's do this. 
The time ran out. We lost by three. Time ran out. What a bite. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, well, we go through the cut screens. I'm going to grab some food here. Remember, this is a 63 overall team. He threw 65 passes. 30 of 65. At least he only got sacked three times. Hey, George, the first game he threw for almost 400 yards, and he got sacked nine times and threw three picks, and we still won the game. Hmm. Running game is... Non-existent. All right, so Hubbard is the uh, sophomore. He'll be back next year. What's our running back? He'll be back. Senior, senior, senior. Those guys are all going to be gone. Yeah. We just didn't have a. We just didn't have a timeout. Otherwise, we could have kicked the field goal. I was going to kick the field goal myself. And we were out of time. I can change that slider so it's more um, even because right now it's 60% passing, 40% running. But our offensive line is so bad. I don't know. All right. Advance the week and see what happens. We will be doing fast sim from here on out. I really want to get this first recruiting class done so we have much better starters for next year. And uh, then next year, we can focus more on uh, really getting some good players in here. <clears throat> Probably um, main screen for, for most of them. I've been here for three and a half hours. <clears throat> and I mainly just want to get the recruiting done. So we can get some uh, better players for next year. If we're getting smoked in every game, maybe I'll go in and just do fast sim. But the two games that we actually watched, we, we played really well in. And it was... All right, we got some visits coming up. It was the uh, in-game sim. Let's get these upgrades so we can get some help. Normally I would go to... Uh, yeah, we're just going to go with Stamina and Injury for now, for that one. This one, we're going to go... Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that too. Health it. <coughs> Alright, let's check our recruiting. 100 points to spend. All right, we're number one on that list. West Virginia hasn't moved up very much. We should be able to get this guy. <coughs> should. This guy, we dropped five. We're number one on his list. Number one there. <coughs> these guys are all good. Not too worried about these two. Um, he's number one. He should be ready for a visit. I'm getting rid of this tight end to get him off the board. Um, getting rid of this wide receiver. And with this wide receiver. I'm going to condense this board now so I don't have to look through all this shit. Alright, so this guy. Two tackles. Two guards. 
I'm not taking points off of him because they have a visit coming up. I will give Cobb 100. <clears throat> leaving him on because we need a center too. Um, defensive end. Tell you what. D tackle slowly gaining. They have a visit. Hopefully, they don't lock us out. <clears throat> so we jump to number one there. Uh, good, good, good. We need some points. We need some extra points somewhere. Alright, let's do our visits. <coughs> this tackle. No. Ready for visit. There we go. Alright, tight end. We're gonna go against San Jose, George. All these guys are gonna go against San Jose. Got to get him in, get him done, move on. All right, fast sim. Thirty-five seven. So both games we did the fast sim on. We only scored seven points and we gave up thirty something points. So we we play better in the faster, the, the slower sim. So it takes longer to do that. <clears throat> Maybe we do that when we play San Jose State, so George can see his team and we can have a better chance of getting all the stats we need. Um. We'll have a better team next year. We'll play better in the fast sim, especially if we get that quarterback. <laughs> I want to get that quarterback in for a visit really bad. I also want to make a change right here too. So give me a sec. We're gonna we're gonna make it 50-50 instead of 60-40 on the play calling. guys ready to visit that's good like when we get the extra visits try and get this shit done quick get them in there before we lose a bunch of games right Let's see where we are all right he's at 28% locked he's still within reach we're going to take all of these points off of him cuz his bonus will get us to uh, his bonus will get us to a visit next week. All right, we're going to drop. We're going to take all of his points away because I want to get these guys up and close for a visit. So, let's put 300 and all three of these guys. All right, I gotta wait through that week nine visit to see how we stand. He's good. Got passed on that. Um, They had a visit, so we'll gain ground when we get to week eight. So I'm not too worried there. Slowly gaining there. That's good, that's good. We're number one on him, plus we have a visit coming. Slowly creeping there. I need, I need points on these two guys. Critical points on those two guys. Got a visit coming up there. 
that one's scheduled before them. We're in, we're in rough shape when it comes to visits, so. Still haven't offered this guy. Let me take 50 off so I can offer him and get this over with. Alright, so that's taken care of. <clears throat> 60 overall, wow. That's rough. Alright, let's go into his philosophy and change this so that it's more 50-50. Let's, let's change it by 5 and stay there. Let's see how that goes. Alright, advance the week. Get to play Fresno, George. Fresno's next. We all know how I feel about Fresno State. Hello, Zoo. Somebody else was playing. I don't remember who it was. They had to play Fresno and I had to explain the whole reason why I gave them their nickname that I use and why I can't stand them so much. I don't remember who it was, if it was Boost or Mac. I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was, I don't think it was Sausage Biscuit. I can't remember who it was. Somebody recently, I was in their stream the other day watching. Can't wait for the new game to uh, do these weak advancements so much faster. All right, we got some more. We got some more guys ready for visits. Save this. It's my wife's phone. She's sitting over there on the couch. I gotta get it up in the air here sometime soon. This is about all I can do. Let's check this recruiting and see how we go. These visits out of the way. It's half back. Might as well come. Visit the Spartans. Everybody's going to see the Spartans. It's going to be a huge week. Let's get it out of the way. Boise. All right. Top schools. There we go, boys. One more week and we'll get a visit from him. You know what, I'm going to give him his 50 points just to get him a little closer. Um, halfback is good. This guy, we just got to keep points on them to get them up to, uh, we got to get them up to uh, their 50% so we can get the visit. Alright, we've locked everybody else out so it's just two men on that one. Got our visit coming up there. Um, we fell behind there. That's not good. Might have to go find another offensive lineman to throw on the board. Rob Peter to pay Paul here. Um, number one there, we've already offered. <clears throat> Let's go find another offensive lineman because we're running short here. Oh, 
I also got to pay attention to week eight to make sure we find. I don't. I don't really have enough points to go after these seventy-three percent guys. So we really got to find somebody. He's a sixty-nine. All right. JD Sherman, welcome to the board. Sixty-one, sixty-five. Tell you what, we'll just throw them both on the board. I don't think there's a center out there. Nope. All right, we're just gonna throw them on the board and get on their board, and we'll scout them and all that stuff next week. So if you weren't in here before, the plan is we will play an entire season in each stream. Um, hopefully the future streams will go faster because I took the entire first hour to explain um, how I recruit to uh, a couple of new followers. So you guys that have been watching me for six months know how I do this. So, um, And at some point, George, I'll probably have been fighting it. But I'll probably have to make my own Discord so we can just do all the recruiting in one place. And won't force them to go join your Discord just to find my shit. <laughs> so, all right, fast sim. See if we do lose thirty something to seven again. <laughs> hey, we gave up thirty-five, but we scored thirteen this time. Now, when we play San Jose. When we play San Jose, we're going to watch the game. Um, we won't watch as many plays, but we're going to do the other sim instead of this sim. I need all of those recruits to come in. <laughs> yeah, George, I'm sending everybody your, your Discord just to find my stuff. So, Hey, did you watch that Madden play that I posted from Twitter yesterday? 11 pancakes on offense at one time. Oh my god. The guy's reaction. Literally, everybody on defense got pancaked at the same time. <laughs> and I, I wrote um, in front of the link, I wrote, remember, this is the only... This is the only... Oh shit, let me let me let me quote it exact. Switch. Doing a mouse left handed is really strange. I said, uh, yeah, remember this is the only officially licensed NFL simulation game. And they literally pancaked the entire opposing team. This is what I was afraid of. I don't. I do not need to be in recruiting battles with all these guys. God, I need to get some guys in and re signed. All right, let's get these visits scheduled. Not this week. No. I'll give Jordan Young his visit this week. These wide receivers are going to go against Boise. Yeah. Alright, need to clear basically 300 points. Um, and it's going to come right here. down here and scout these guys. I don't need all of them, but I need at least one of them. He's a 65. He's a 67. He's a 77.
So I need two tackles, two guards in the center. So I'm keeping all these guys because all of them are better than what we already have. So. Alright, go back to top schools. Let's go by position instead of this main board. They're already separated by position, but I just want to clear the clutter. Alright? So we just dropped because Texas decided to start putting points on this guy. They weren't putting any points on him. So we're going to do the visit. And if they jump ahead again, we'll just cut him. Because this is the guy we want, right? In fact, he's visiting this week. We're going to give it to this guy. He's going to get his points one way or the other. Halfback is visiting. We need two halfbacks. But one of the halfbacks is, a, uh, is an athlete. And uh, one of the wide receivers is an athlete. Hey, Boost, welcome back, man. Uh, we almost beat Kansas, man. We lost by a field goal, and we were in field goal range, but we ran out of time. And then we've got smoked in the sim two other times. We found another tackle that's worth having. So I need five offensive linemen, and I don't care which five I get, but I need five, five good offensive linemen. Defensive end, got to get two. Again, middle linebacker. Um, middle linebacker is going to get moved to D end, and this guy is probably going to come in. One of these two is going to go to middle. Um, so, corner, we need three. Need a free. Need a strong. Um, kicker. Now Ohio State wants to join in. Um, what is this? Alright, he has 84 kick power. We may not get this kicker because Ohio State's going to come in. Worst case is, like you said, we take the punter and make the best one on the team the kicker. Um, so. We have... A crap ton of guys visiting. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I have an upgrade, and it's week eight. All right? We got an extra 500 points. You know what? He's only going to get 100. So what do we have left? 250. I'm not worried about the kicker and punter, and we can get one next year if we don't get those guys this year. But I really need some skill players, so... All right, let's save this before we uh, crash. At least this way, if the game locks up at the end of the game, we don't lose all our recruiting stuff. That's why I save before I play. All right, we're going to fast the sim inside. George, your team better not lose to me or I'm going to give you grief forever, man. <laughs> See what I can do with uh, revamp? You can get blue shoes.
I'm going to go with the yellow helmets this time, just so that they're different from yours, so we both don't have blue helmets. There we go. <laughs> what was Jeff saying? Did he beat up on him really bad? <laughs> I like how it only shows three guys and I have like 15 people coming in this week. Ooh. Wow. Top receivers hurt. Wow. Look at all those guys out. Middle linebacker, center, strong safety, wide receiver. We lost our right end. I don't know if I was or not. Sometimes I go into uh, Natty's stream and I'm in there for like 10, 15 minutes and then I'm gone. Other times I'm in there for the entire time. Part of that depends on who else is streaming, so... There we go, 26 yards, not bad. RJ, my mom calls me RJ because that's my initials. I take it he's not one of the programmers. He's just a fan bitching and moaning. Nice catch. <clears throat> if he's one of the programmers, I can understand. But if he's just a fan, he can go pound sand, man. He's lucky we get anything at all. Yeah. So if he's on the team and he's upset, that's then that's totally justifiable. That's cool. Two. Come on, boys. You got to block better than that. I would just say we're happy whenever we get an update, man. <laughs> Seriously. They didn't have to do this at all. We'd still be playing default NCAA. Push, push. There we go. First down. Where do you go, Reggie? My team looks really strange with those gold helmets. Yeah, three yards is three yards. We'll take it. Let's go. His quarterback isn't too bad. We can work. We can, we can work with him, but we get that 80 overall. That's a game changer, man. He'll start for sure because this guy won't even get to 80 after this season with the uh, off-season training. He'll, he'll probably be 75. Alright, spread him out and throw. Don't run here. No, no... No draw plays. Nice. There you go. Good job, guys. 
Do I use the off-season tool? No. I have... It takes too much work to use the playoff tool. I'm not messing with the off-season tool. Because every time I do something, I have to quit out of the game. <clears throat> Save the file. Move it over. Do what I have to do. Bring it back. Upload it. Restart the game. Um, and I tried to do the playoff tool on stream one time, and I, I locked up my computer three times, or my PlayStation three times, and uh, had to split that stream into two. So I, I just, I don't even mess with it. I don't even do the playoff tool anymore. So if I was playing on PC, it'd be so super easy because it's all contained in one box. But it's, it's a, it's a, it's not worth my trouble. Oh my god! I thought he was going to pick that pass. Yeah, the only thing, the only feedback I would give the revamp dudes are, I've had 14 fake punts run against me, so whatever they've done to the fake punt logic needs to be fixed. 14 fake punts after not having one ever run against me is, uh, I don't, I don't mind um, once in a while, but not 14. And I can, I can go through every one of my streams and find all 14. <laughs> this is bullshit. What the fuck was that? His running back ran into his arm when he was throwing the ball. He fakes the handoff, steps back to throw, and smokes the running back, and that should have been a fumble. <laughs> that game has to... That, that play has to come out of the playbook. That's a terrible play. Drop a dime? No. That was a bad pass. You don't throw it short when two guys are undercutting. Yeah, I'm getting multiple fake punts in the same season. Ooh. Could have stepped up just a little bit there. He could have thrown that ball. Look, he's ready to throw right there. Just a little more room. Dude got bum rushed into the backfield. <clears throat> oh wow, I didn't realize I was fourth down. Wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking to you guys and didn't notice the score that it was it was uh fourth down and we were going for it. Get him. Get him. There you go. We'll do some fast simming here after this drive. We ate the entire clock and didn't score. That's kind of disheartening. As long as we can keep the game close, we, we'll have a chance. Get in there. He ran right into the blocker. Guy blitzing ran straight into him. He didn't try to avoid him or anything. Oh, Param Crow was playing with San Jose State in one of his streams, and he loves Deese. I think he was offensive coordinator at San Jose State for a year and then left and got a head coach job somewhere else and uh, he was he was throwing to Deese all the time get in there boom there we go Oh, I gotta strip that. You gotta get the sack and a fumble. All right, third and sixteen. Big stop here. All right, big bucks, no whammies. Let's go. Need a sack, pick, something. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Defense. Defense plays really well in uh, the slow sim. Here we go. First down and third down and 12. And then we got a punt. Solar Chris, hey, how you doing, man? Long time no see, man. 
Welcome into the uh, new Northern Colorado Sim Only Dynasty, since I can't play. We're uh, simming the games and recruiting and doing team building. This, this team is a 63 overall. Rook and wrist. <laughs> Let's go. Run defense, make a play. I don't want to watch every play, but we play so much better when we watch the plays. All right, down 10. Did you? What happened? I, I know the feeling because I, I was, I've been like that for a few weeks, but I want to know <laughs> what everybody else is running into. <clears throat> that offense is stalling. We gotta do something. There's a good sack. Fourth and two. Let's watch. Let's see if we can get some uh, offense going. Here we go. Good job, Collins. Good job, good job. Have to be in a huge rush. We do need to be able to run the ball better. <laughs> That's no good. Ooh. Lucky that wasn't picked. Glad he could hold on. That was a tough catch. Yeah, it makes it difficult to uh, get anything done when you don't have time to look and see who's open and move around in the pocket. Oh. There must have been 10 guys in that one spot. I don't know why he threw it there. No, oh, that's not good. I uh, didn't mean to do this. Sorry, didn't mean to do. I meant to do this faster. So, sorry, guys. Go get him. Here, let's try this. There. Now we'll go for the quarterback instead of letting him go up the field. <clears throat> oh, nice, oh, nice catch and a punch to the face. <laughs> yeah, been there before. Know that for sure. Third and one, first down, first down. EAT. All right, down three scores, not good. Especially with all these guys coming in, coming in and visiting this week. There you go. Keep going. Nope, missed the field goal. Now we can't stop him at all. <clears throat> Damn, getting bum rushed here. Imagine if they didn't have all their injuries. Can't do shit now. Come on, boys. We're not going to get anybody to come visit and sign if they, they don't we get smoked.
Touchdown. Yay. Need Mac dubs. Touchdown. Touchdown. Fumble. We got it. Hey, we're in scoring position, man. 22 yard line. Eight yards. Three yards. Nine yards. Touchdown. Hey, got the turnover. Here we go. Down 13. Oops, didn't mean to uh, didn't mean to watch the uh, kickoff. <coughs> yeah, I've got a uh, UCF one that I was playing earlier. Um, I took a week off and we went on vacation. Then I break my wrist and I can't play. Um, I have like another offline one that I sim with Army and another one that I play. And now I'm testing out new sliders and a on another one. Or I was earlier at least. Worth the one. We're going to make him punt. Oh, we're at the one. Don't get a safety. Hey. Got the ball back. Interception. Thornburg with an interception and a fumble recovery. Dude's having a game. And now our uh, wide receivers can't catch the ball. And we recovered another fumble. Oh no, they did. Sorry. Alright guys, we need a touchdown here. Gotta get a touchdown and a stop. Can't be dropping passes either. Jeez, please. And we punted. This is where the game ends. Yep. Game over. All right, 41 to 14, played like dog crap. <coughs> Yeah, it'll be much more uh, competitive in another year or two, George. Especially to get the quarterback. Need offensive line, though. I need these guys to win so I can get some upgrades on my head coach because we can't recruit if we don't get upgrades. Do you have any suggestions to pick a college football season from 2013 season to now on a team that can be a team builder if you want it to be? Not off the top of my head, because I usually just start with the, whatever the default. I've already, I've already spent this point. Yeah. One in five. We, we, we controlled Colorado. It wasn't even close. We haven't even... Coming remotely close to doing well. The Kansas game we should have won too, but. Yeah, that stadium is nice. It'll be it'll be nice once we get bigger. And I don't know what stadium they chose. Looks like it holds 50, 60,000. I can safely say we're not going to a bowl game, so our season's gonna be over in week 15, so I need some I need some stats and I need these guys to uh, win another couple of games so we can get some upgrades and, and I need to uh, get some recruits signed, man. No problem, man. Take your time.
Hey, look at that. We got the right tackle and a strong safety. Thank you, thank you. All right. Got some bad visits in there, too. But our uh, our big quarterback's ready to visit. I'm going to change his name if we get him. I don't like William Pruitt as a quarterback's name. Let's finish off the uh, injury stuff. got two commits. God. Now I got points to spend. Alright, so we got the strong, we got the tackle. This guy can go away. We don't need him. Kicker punter free. Need three corners. Yeah, I knew these guys were going to jump in. getting that guy. That's why I added those other ones. Jeez. Alright, let's give him 300 and see if we can push him back up. If not, we'll end up with these guys down here. That's okay. I would take these guys. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One of those guys, that's fine. Wide receiver, wide receiver. Baylor's catching us. Need more points. Okay, so we're gonna split these points. I'm actually gonna give him 50, and we're gonna put those other points into these other guys. So he's going to 400. He's going to 400. These guys, badly. Ready for a visit. <clears throat> okay. I have no idea why the lighting is so dark. It's the same lighting I've been using. Daylight outside, I don't get it. I'm gonna have to get a, a ring light or something to put in here so you can see my face. It was perfect last night. All right, we're just gonna do some fast simming because we, we don't have all day and we need to get uh, we need to get this done. 26 to 10. At least some of these sim games are close. They're not uh, total blowouts. If we get fired and I have to create a new coach, whatever level I am here, I'll just create him at that level. <clears throat> like we did with uh, Smooth Talker and Shit Talker. We need more commits. We need them badly. We've got to get 25 guys, and we only have two. There we go, left end. That uh, backup quarterback went to Texas, and that's okay. We got a guard. So we got a guard and an end. That's good. 
Losing that quarterback is not the end of the world. Let's get these visits out of the way. back into it so we've got to uh, give him his points back give him 150 maybe I'll convince him to finish up he's got to go to 500 500 500 actually we don't have to give him 500 let's give him back to 300 Another D end. Two D tackles. Wow. <laughs> I'm not taking those points off. Do you know why? They haven't offered. They'll hit 73% and we'll still get them. guy. I'm not going to get this guy. I'm just going to let him go. <clears throat> like I said, if we, we have to, we'll get kickers next year. All those guys are better than what we have already. They'll all start, every one of them. No points. No points. Let's save this. I know it takes forever. It's no different than the game auto saving every time I exit out of uh, recruiting. It's just I get to do it when I choose to do it. So this one will be a little bit longer rebuild than uh, ULM. ULM was a race. I was trying to see how fast I could do it. Um, this one I don't expect to get all the guys quick. Um, but. Uh, We'll do what we can. Maybe it takes a couple years longer, but once we get to once we get up there and we're winning conferences, it's going to be steamroll city. Come on, let's beat Wyoming. You got to get two wins. Nope, 45-10. Isaac CB10. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate the follow. Sorry, we're not getting any more wins. We're one in six, but kind of expected that with a 63 overall team. So, um, then that's okay. Since I can't play, we don't have to be in a hurry, right? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? Um, you can see broken wrist. That's why we're not doing any gameplay. Why we're just simming. We uh, chose uh, Northern Colorado because that's where I went to college. So I found them in Team Builder a few weeks, uh, maybe two months ago. I don't know. I showed George a while back because I had a uh, graphic I made for the uh, first episode. Um, and then I kind of shelved it. <clears throat> and uh, then I got injured in a car wreck, so I can't play. So, hey, our head coach went up. All right, we got it. an outside linebacker, a defensive end, and a wide receiver. Let's get my head coach upgrade. Um, uh, 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 it's a 
bonus on the visits. I'm going to take the bonus on the visits so we get more points for a visit. Um, and that'll keep our points even for beginning and end. Now Washington State wants to uh, catch us, and they have almost the 300 points, so that's why they're gaining ground. But they still haven't offered. This guy has to commit soon. All right. This guy's going to take some points. So we got two DMs, right? That's all we needed. Means I could leave that middle linebacker at, at middle linebacker. But we got this outside linebacker. Fuck, I gotta pay attention now. He goes away. One of those can replace. So this outside linebacker can replace the punter. Now I gotta start paying attention. If we have to cut somebody to make room for someone else, I'll cut this punter. Need the free safety. We need three corners. Need the middle, and now we're behind. Worst case is if we don't get this middle, that outside linebacker becomes a middle. It'll put a walk-on on the team, but we'll cut him. Hell, the walk-on might, might not be any worse than what we've already got. Tackle, we need two of those. I don't need this D end anymore, so let's remove him before he commits and fills another spot where we need somebody. How many offensive linemen do we have? We need five total, so we have two. So we need three more. One, two, three. We'll leave him on there just in case. Tight end, we need. We need two, these two for wide receiver. Need him for a halfback. Need him for quarterback. I wanted two halfbacks. Um, don't have an athlete, so we'll just end up with one. We'll be all right. We'll be good with all of this. We got one wide receiver, two, three. Yeah, one of the guys I had as running back ended up. Uh, we had to cut, so we'll be good. Our starting running back is an 80, and he'll be a senior next year, so we can go get somebody else next year when we don't have 9 million guys to get, so we'll be okay. Who's ready to visit? This corner. All right. Colorado State, kick our ass. It's a 30 minute drive. Hey, it was a closer game. What's my favorite team? Um, Mizzou. I uh, was accepted there, but I didn't go to school there. I went to Northern Colorado, but my daughter's a junior at, at Mizzou. So, um, what's your favorite team? What do you like for football? You like any other sports besides football, college football? We haven't gotten the 80 overall yet, T Clink. Not yet. Washington State jumped back in and they're making up ground on us in a hurry, so it might have to be an off-season one. <clears throat> so, my granddaughters are going to be here in the next 15 to 30 minutes, so it's going to get loud. We'll try to uh, go as fast as we can here so I can be done. I've already been streaming for 420 and I didn't mean to be on here that long. But we've watched a little more gameplay, and uh, I took at least an hour to explain how I recruit at the start. So, well tied. We go through Alabama a lot when we drive down to Destin. So, 
I have some friends who live uh, near Tuscaloosa. I, I went to college with her. I didn't go with her. I went to college in the same town that she lived, that we worked together. All right, so we got the tight end, and we got the left tackle. So let's scroll down and see how many offensive linemen we have here. So we need five, right? Guard, tackle, tackle. All right, so one tackle, one guard, two tackles. So we need a guard and a center. Guard in the center. So we'll, we need two of these three guys. Have a visit coming up, so that'll bump us back ahead of of Notre Dame. We can take these points off of him. Here's the quarterback. So we just gain points on him. Gain ground. Maybe they took him off the board. I don't know. Give him those points. D tackles fine. D tackles fine. Guards fine. Middle. I can't do anything else. Um, there you go, George. I said this guy was going to be a 73% guy. So the problem is... Baylor. We're fighting Baylor now. Baylor hasn't offered and we have. So we need this guy. Can we do visit with him? Bobby? Yes. Thank you. This will get us up to one. We really need him to play corner. This guy was going to be ready to play to come in soon too. St. Paper Cove. Yeah, we stay. Um, <sighs> my dad has two uh, timeshares at the uh, the fuck resort. It's it's the one that has uh, it's it's in the middle of the golf course. So you can walk across the street and go to the putting green and driving range and tee off. It's right by the uh, water tower. It's on the uh, it's away from the beach. It's on the other side of the highway. and ground in this corner. Who can I take points from? We're going to take points away from you right now. Give him to this corner because he really needs it. I still have this guy, but he's losing ground too. I love going to that uh, outlet mall. We go there all the time and buy clothes. I usually come home with several hundred dollars worth of new clothes every time we go but we haven't gone for two years because covid hit they shut everything down so we couldn't go that year and then this year he had to change the week because we usually go the first weekend in june so we get there the first saturday of june and go back the second and uh this year he couldn't get it for that time so uh we decided to go to the smoky mountains instead and i end up with a broken wrist because of the car wreck so should have stayed home <laughs> save one more time fast forward through this game we're gonna win we might beat New Mexico but other than that I don't think we're gonna, gonna win another game and that's okay I don't think we're gonna get fired the first year but we could if it is I'll just make a new coach before the next stream and we'll be good I'm at level six so that works Hey, we beat Air Force, George. 20 to 17. We got to win number two. Awesome, awesome. And we had some people visiting that week, too. It'd be nice if we got, like, three or four commits this week. We need it bad. 
Yeah, and in addition to this, I um, have a high ankle sprain or bone bruise or something in my ankle for the last 13 weeks. It hasn't healed, so I had to get a PRP injection Thursday in that. I hurt my elbow working out, and we may have to do an injection in that elbow, so it's all on the same side. It sucks. It's been one of those summers. Last year was COVID lockdown. This year, it's me getting injured every damn month. So, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being in pain. I've literally been in pain every day for three months. So, I'm tired of talking about it. Everybody watches my streams, tired of listening to it. And uh, I just want to be healthy and play and have some fun. Let's go. Advance. Advance this week. I want to go look at my recruits. Tell me who I got. Boom. Got a wide receiver. That was a 73% guy. Gives us 500 points. Here we go. Here he is. He's got to play wide receiver because he uh, can't cover nearly as well. <clears throat> and we need receivers more than anything. So, well, we need three corners. So, the uh, worst case is if we don't get any corners, he's moving the corner. But let's check our visits. Everybody's coming in this week. All right. <clears throat> Here, Spectre, you want to see? We got that guy that we want to play a wide receiver. We got already had the tackle. We got a D end. We got another receiver. Got the strong safety. Got a guard. Got an outside linebacker that can move to middle. Got another tackle, so we have two tackles and a guard. We just need a guard and a center. Got the tight end. We got a second D end. Oh, that hurts. So we need two D tackles. All right, so we need this quarterback. And and Washington State is creeping. Um, halfback, this guy needs to commit soon. Let's give him a hundred just to kind of push him over the edge. Um, we got one wide receiver. We need this other one. Um, and we have an athlete that is a wide receiver. So that would be three. Yeah, they're all starting. And then we've got a tight end. He's going to start. Tackle. If we can get this third one, he'll get moved into guard. One of these, we'll have two tackles. This guy will go to guard. We've already got a guard, so then one of these guys would go to center. You know what? We're going to give him another 100, and we're going to take this 100 away and give it to him. Try and push this guy... Got both DNs. We need two D tackles. Let's give him more points. Um, this guy may go into middle. This guy we keep dropping points on. So he's going to be an off-season battle. Um, we need three corners. So what I'm going to do now. Um, so I'm going to cut this outside linebacker even though we need him because I don't want to lose a corner. That gives me 400 points to put in here. Okay. Need the free. Already got the strong. Punter's the last thing we need to worry about. Athlete. This is a corner, and this is a corner. So, <sighs> right. 
And we beat Air Force 20 to 17. All right, this is our last week, last home game, and we lost. Fuck. Got two road games after this, and when we're done, we can get to the off season. Um, we've only got ten recruits. We need fifteen more. So I need, I need, I need ten guys to commit in the next three weeks. What I really need is for a bunch of these guys, those corners, those athletes that are playing corner, all those guys to commit so that I, if I get to the offseason, I can spend all that, all those points on the quarterback. Yeah. Remember, I was 63, 63, 65 at the start of the stream. So we'll see what I am next year once we get this uh, recruiting class. See how big of a jump. I bet you I jump. I bet you I jumped to a 70. So let's take that bet. Let's see. See if I jump seven points overall. Might be more. All right, no commits. Sucks. Because we lost. Can't lose and get good recruits. Well, you can. I've done it before, but it's not easy. We had a number three class with a 2 and 10 team before. So, again, I'm going to get past here shortly. This guy just needs to commit. out on as many guys as I can. How can I move points? Can I move points to anybody? Alright. Let's do this. Let's try and get him to come visit. If he visits, then he'll commit and we'll be done. We'll be good there. <clears throat> Alright, so. Let's save because we haven't saved in a few weeks. I learned that lesson the hard way. I simmed like half a season and then I advanced one week and it locked up. <laughs> not good. It's not good. Oh man. Right, let's advance. I haven't even looked at anything. Before we do this, let's go check this out. Because these are the these are the George, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up and then we're gonna be done. These are look at Ball State. Are you kidding me? These are the 2020 real rosters. So we're two and nine, one and four in division, that's because we beat Air Force. San Jose is number one in the West. Half game lead over Nevada. We could clinch the West for you if we beat Nevada, George. Here's the Heisman. Bitch, it's Najee. No, it's not. Robinson. Let's see how bad it thinks we are. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll look at stats when the season's over. All right, our last game of the season. Three and nine, two and ten. We won. Yeah, congrats, George. You guys won your half of the conference with that win. Awesome. Maybe that'll convince some of these guys to commit now. You know, three and nine. That'll help keep, keep me from getting fired.
Wow, we won. Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe how dark my face is. I have the same exact lighting as I've always had in here. I don't know what's going on. Let me see if I cover up. Does that help? I covered up Streamlabs. There we go. I covered up Streamlabs with my uh, depth chart so it's nice and bright and white. Hey, we all went, all three of us went up. Come here, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Got the half back. All right, well, at least we got a half back. And add to the skill tree. And since I can't come up here to kitchen sink, we'll, uh, we'll do it for the first week of next year. And we're gonna do Power Rush Finesse. We're gonna do. We're doing quarterback. Fourteen guys to go in two weeks. Not gonna happen. So LSU jumped over me, not surprising. And Washington State jumped over me. There's three guys. Let's take him away and give it here. Defensive tackle, we're fine. Defensive tackle. These are all corners. I need three of these guys. These five guys, I need three of them. Let's take it away from him and give it to this guy because he's higher overall. All right, so 68 halfback. All right, we're getting to the nitty gritty end here. So let's advance. See who plays in the conference championship. It's got to be San Jose. And... Air Force? Boise? I can't remember who was first in our, our half of the uh, conference. So once we get through all this, we'll do the off-season recruiting to finish up our class advanced to position changes, um, training, and uh, get, to the, get to that page where we do the schedule, and then we'll stop there, and we'll, we'll do that next time. I don't know when that next one will be. It'll be fairly soon. I don't know if it's day or night. Just kind of play it by ear. Jesus, we have too many recruiting battles. We're not going to get any of these guys. I'm going to be putting like 200 points on each one because we have so many of them. I'm not going to get him. I, I tell you right now, I will sacrifice an offensive lineman. I will sacrifice one of those corners, um, one of those wide receivers. We will we will have to go hard after the uh, quarterback because he's, he's uh, too good to pass up. So... All right, conference standings. Boise and San Jose. Our season is over, so let's check stats. <laughs> How can he go from, he had to have gotten hurt, but he threw for almost 400 yards in the first game of the season. What the fuck is going on in the sim? They're running way more. It stopped throwing. It started running and it stopped throwing. That's why we're losing.
the hell? <sighs> Alright, next year we'll crank that shit up again. Um... And I don't have a ton of points to spend in the offseason either. I got like, what, 10,000, whatever the base one is. That's not going to be good. I think anybody that we're ahead on that no one else has a uh, scholarship offer, we don't give them anything. Give them no points. Next Darkle. <laughs> Nick McCorkle. <laughs> Brace, Brace Hall from, uh, I guess that's Iowa State. What is my target wins is five, five wins. So three is okay. Three should be enough to keep me from getting fired. Let's check the bowl games. Biceps okay because I've been moving my arm around. My wrist hurts though. San Jose plays in the uh, famous Idaho Potato Bowl. It's Buffalo. Boise plays Washington in the Vegas Bowl. Air Force plays in the SoFi Hawaii Bowl. Nevada's in the Military Bowl. Military Bowl, no military teams. Does that make sense? Alabama's in the outback. Ball State's playing Miami. They're both undefeated. <laughs> Get out of here. Wow. Ball State. Look at BYU. Oregon State seven and five, and they made the top twenty-five. Going to advance. The one thing that we didn't consider is going to be transfers and how that affects what we have left to get. So that may bail us out. If we have too much trouble, we may end up with a bunch of transfers, and we'll find that out right before we do um, the recruiting. So, because it'll uh, take away spots from the guys on the board, right? Iron Shadow, hey, welcome in. Doing well, well as can be. Got my broken wrist. Um, doing a, a team builder sim only dynasty since I can't play. Um, I might have to change my uh, my uh, title so it says team builder Northern Colorado dynasty because I have sim only in there twice. That way people know I'm playing a team builder. Um, but this team was a 63 overall, and so we're trying to uh, <laughs> improve it dramatically in one year. So 
We actually we actually manhandled Colorado at the start of the season. It was quite funny. All right, guys, this point right here. If you don't know this, you should really pay attention right now. When you get to this particular week, the end of season, after all the bowl games are played, do not advance. Okay? Don't advance. Every player that you've redshirted, if they're any good at all and they're underclassmen, they're going to leave if you don't move them to number one on the depth chart. So we go into the depth chart. I have a 66 overall quarterback that's third string. I'm going to make him number one because I don't want him to leave. The 61 halfback I don't give a shit about. Um, wide receiver. We have a 66 that's a red shirt. I'll move him in. Now it's going to say this will result in the loss of his red shirt, and that's false because they're not going to play one down. Season's over. They can't play it down, so it's not going to cost them anything. Um, I have a 64 sophomore. And I don't care about that 62 freshman. Um, don't care about any offensive lineman because most of them have already redshirted and the ones that haven't are in the 50s. Um, that's 74 free safety. Actually, 77. He went up. How did he go up? I fix this. Well, he improved during the season. Um, other than that, we're good to go. So, I don't think there's anybody else high enough that we have to worry about transferring. I might. I might move this 67 right tackle to left tackle. Yeah. Play in Dorsey. So that way he doesn't leave. Everything else is fine. No one else on the team I gotta worry about. Alright, we're good. Oh man. Wrist is bothering me right now. I haven't taken pain medicine since Monday. I'm just kind of dealing with it so so this is what you do when you do all that where you move guys to the top of the depth chart then you need to come in and save before you advance the week because if you miss somebody and you don't move everybody you forget somebody and they leave you can quit out go back into that make sure you add them to the top of the depth chart and then move forward So, now we can go forward. And I didn't see who won, did I? Look at all these guys recruiting battles. Yeah, I can't look it up now. All right. We're not going to mess with the coaching carousel because I don't want to leave, so we're going to advance. All I got to do when we're done <clears throat> next season is look to see if Ball State has a national championship or not. Oh. Wrist needs a break. Doing everything left-handed is uh, a pain and an adventure. Using a mouse left-handed is actually not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I can't cut my own food. <laughs> um, there's a whole bunch of things I can't do left-handed, so it's it's a it's a joke. Okay, players leaving. My granddaughter's just got here, so all right, we lost no underclassmen. All these all these shit players graduated. This dude was a backup. So, all right, we didn't lose anything special. 
Now we get to transfers, and this is going to be the tricky part because we got to pay attention to who wants to come in here. We're not going to have any any draft picks, and nobody wants to come play for us. What the fuck? Wow! 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 That's really surprising. All right. I guess we recruited too many guys before the offseason. They'd have to sit out like a red shirt anyway. Alright, so this this is gonna be difficult and tricky because I do need a D tackle. I do need a middle linebacker. I do need corners. Don't have to have this quarterback, but I want this quarterback, right? How many points do I have? I have 10,000 points. I have 1,000 points per player. Ugh. I'm not putting any points in the punter if we get him. Great. Um, I have to put point. I really don't have to, but I need to get this free safety. Um, I'm putting nothing on this guy. These guys are all separated by position, so... We're going to start at a thousand and work from there. I have to get three corners. Have to. We only have three on the fucking roster. All right. He's 5,000 points. He's 5,000 points. Unless he puts all 10,000 on him, he's not getting him. And that's the only, I'm the only team offering. So I'm not putting any points on this guy. Putting no points on that guy. We probably won't get this free safety, but if I get an extra corner, then we'll put that guy over at free safety. No, that's that's not the end of the world. Alright. Not putting any points on a punter. I'll come back to Thomas. Um, this guy was the one we were going to move the D-end, but I still need a middle linebacker, so... Uh, right now he's getting 2,000, and we'll adjust from there after I look at everybody else. See what points I have left over. We're going to put 500 on him. I've already replaced all of my seniors, so I won't get any walk-ons. I just won't get, I won't have a stud team next year. That's, a, that's my concern. This guy's getting a thousand points. That's pretty funny. 40 overall. Hello, don't you love when they do that? All right, let's let's give him 500. And you know what? Fuck this guy. All right. I have a bad feeling we're going to get royally screwed in this. And we get like three guys. And I can't get that wide receiver. Ugh. We're going to take a chance on this D-tackle. I have too many too many holes to fill. All right. I mean, we got some good players. This is considering how bad this team is, this is a good class already. 
we've we've got good players, but we need great players. So. I hate this. We didn't win enough games for me to improve, so let's save this. Uh, ULM was much easier, George. Way easier. At least we have some offensive linemen that can start. That'll give us a, uh, a fighting chance to pass and, and run. Um, the quarterback that started for us was a redshirt freshman, so we'll be okay if we don't get that quarterback. Um, but it's hard to pass up a 94th row power quarterback that nobody wanted. Um, all right, guys, cross your fingers. Got to see a lot of gold on the on the uh, screen here. Gold, a lot of gold, no white. A lot of gold, no white. If we don't get the middle linebacker, it's okay. I'll move that outside to middle. It'll just give us a walk on. Um, and he can't be any worse than the 55 overall sophomore that I have. No, that's tackle. Let me call the linebackers. I have a 64 freshman here. While this is updating, you can look at the depth charts again. This is what we're working with. So this was my quarterback. He was a 70. So, I mean, we're young at quarterback. We're not in bad shape. Fuck. I just saw what happened. Oh, my God. We are so hosed. We got two corners. A D-tackle and a guard. It signed a bunch of extra players that I didn't have on the board. We had him all year. Damn it. We lost by 165. I had to take those points off the middle linebacker to put him on the wide receiver, and that cost the, I'm sorry, off the D tackle. We lost the D tackle because I put the points on the wide receiver. We lost the Bobby Brown dude. Damn Fucking game. We lost the free safety. We lost the punter that nobody was interested in. Lost the wide receiver. Mizzou steals my tackle by putting 10,000 points on him. God. All right. So this is what's going to happen. We got the center, a guard that's going to play center. So this is what's going to happen. The guy that we thought we had at wide receiver. This guy, Travis Wilson. He's going to go to corner. Ugh. He's going to play corner. We don't need him at wide receiver. I just wanted to upgrade a lot. Um, oh, my fucking hand hurts. Alright, so we got... What did it add to my team? We got three four stars and 19 three stars. We had the 22nd class. That's not bad. We went up to a prestige two. We went up to a two. That'll help. All right. Position changes. Look at athletes last. So they have the same three quarterbacks. They've all been red shirted. This guy is who we just signed. He's going to get red shirted. We didn't get a fullback. How did we not get a fullback? Whatever. I didn't recruit this guy. That's okay. He's better than these jokers. I'm going to cut this 64 senior. Um, how did we get 269 tight ends? 
I only recruited one. <laughs> the game gave me a 69 tight end. I only recruited one. It gave me two. Yeah, the 78 is going to left tackle. He's going to right tackle. This guy's going to go to left tackle. Because here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play the 70 senior and I'm going to red shirt this guy. Sixty-five, sixty-two, sixty-one, sixty-seven, seventy-one. Let's move him to right guard. And the left guard. Sixty-seven senior is okay. Left tackle. Defensive end, got a 73, a 73, he's a 67, he's a 66, he's going to get red shirted. Senior's going to get cut. Got plenty of D tackles now. This guy going to D tackle. 64. Okay, so I can cut all this trash down here. Got to get some D tackles next year. All right, outside linebackers got 72 and 70. He's a 70. Middle linebackers. All right, so. Plenty of bodies there, so we're not going to get hit with a need thing. He's already been redshirted. He's already been redshirted. He's going to play. I'm going to redshirt this freshman. Senior's going to play. He gave me a 52 corner. So, free safety, this guy is going to strong safety. This guy is going to go to free. Look at their coverage. Can this guy cover it all? Can I move him to the corner? Seventy-one man. Oh, do I have it? Corner now. Seventy-one man. Not good, but geez. Alright, let me look at the. Uh, what is this guy? Seventy-three kick power. We just we'll flip those guys on the depth chart. So Travis Wilson, 78 wide receiver, only 70 corner. He was the one we wanted at wide receiver. 
79 halfback. Yeah, he's going to corner. And we'll put this guy a wide receiver. Now let's go back to corner. Whichever one of these two seniors has the best coverage is going to go to... They're going to go to... Play rack. All right, so these two guys down here are going to get cut. Go back to wide receiver. Good, 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 good. So we can cut the freshman, the senior, and this 84 speed junior. We're going to play a lot of freshmen, wide receiver. We have no fullback. I may have to move one of those tight ends to fullback. Um, and running backs are terrible speed-wise. Let's do that. Let's move uh, this senior to fullback. All right, we're done with player changes, guys. Now let's see how much they progress. Halfback's an 85, free safety's an 84, strong's a 79. We got some guys we can work with. Quarterback went up six points. 80 speed, his awareness went up six. Um, not the best throw power, this guy's actually a better quarterback. He just doesn't have the speed. <clears throat> Offensive line's marginally better. Is it enough for me to be able to redshirt my freshman? All these D tackles down here are getting cut. 77, 74, 77. We got better defense now. Corners are eh. Got an 84. No, I didn't get the quarterback. We only got like three guys. Um, so we'll just change. Tanner and Davenport in the uh, depth chart. Davenport's going to punt, the other guy's going to kick, and we got to get replacements this year so we can redshirt him. Hey, my favorite time of the year. Cut players. Let's cut some trash. And we're going to cut more than five guys. Running backs are fine. I'm sorry. 28. Yeah. We do not take 78 speed wide receivers. Sorry. Goodbye. Hey, check this out, Specta. We we recruited one tight end and it gave us another. So we had two 69 tight ends, even though we only recruited one. This guy's gone. He's gone. He's gone.
We're going to redshirt the freshman and play the other four. So we're going to need at least three defensive tackles next year. Um, linebackers are fine. He's gone. Eighty-one speed. Goodbye. All right, so we have sixty-two players. So we need eight plus all of our seniors. Yeah, Specter, uh, Washington State jumped in and grabbed him late. I didn't have enough points to put on him every week to finish him off. So we uh, we did beat uh, Air Force in Nevada at the end, so we got three wins. But we uh, didn't have enough points to put on players all year. We, we should have finished some of these guys off early, and we didn't. We had too much to replace. I mean, I was being ambitious and trying to replace everybody at one time. Um... But the guy that was a starter at quarterback last year was a freshman. So it's not critical. It just would have been nice to have a 94th row power quarterback. All right, this is where I can go in and, and change my shit. So we're going to reset this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. So now we increased our points by 1500 for the first seven weeks. So we need to get three upgrades before week eight. Um, maybe I don't do that. Maybe I do this instead. Maybe I say, damn it. One, two, three. One, two. Three, four, and now we're even. So if I get two upgrades, we'll throw them in here and we won't worry about the visit stuff. We'll worry about the weekly stuff and not so much the visit. Um, and that way we won't be hosed on points. We'll be maxed out just with two upgrades and that'll actually give us kitchen sink. Um, so we can work on the visits and the kitchen sink. Um, I went up four. So if we went up four more, um, that would be one, two, three, four, or three, four, whatever. We'll balance that out. I don't need the visits to start the year, but I do need the points, and I don't want to drop, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred points once we hit week eight, so. Out right here. We'll go through this really quick. So this is the Mountain West. Let's go back up. ACC is the same. American, um, I added Army, flipped East Carolina, and Tulane. Somebody else got knocked out of there too. Big 12, we added Colorado and Nebraska. Big 10, we added Notre Dame. Conference USA is pretty much the same. BYU is the only independent. Max the same. Mountain West, obviously, we're in there instead of Hawaii, who got pushed to the Pac-12 to replace Colorado. SEC is the same as it is in real life. This one, I think I moved Old Dominion and uh, Charlotte. And we got rid of Georgia Southern. All right, boys and girls, I think I'm done as soon as this advances and gets to the, the next week. So I'm uh, about two hours longer than I wanted to do. Um, so. We need to uh, 
send you off somewhere else. The only people I see on here, we have uh, Franchise Gaming, who's playing Pimpin 2.0. I assume that is uh, Fortnite. Let me open that up in a new tab and double check on him. Yeah, he's playing uh, Fortnite. And uh, the only other one I saw in here, Moon Vibes is playing NCAA if you guys want to watch Moon. Um, it's Yofi. Yofi's playing NBA 2K21. So. Anyway. <clears throat> See what the custom schedules say. <laughs> it wants us to play Auburn. No, <laughs> no. Washington it wants us to play two ranked teams. Yeah, I don't mind playing Toledo. We're not playing Auburn, and we're not playing Washington. So. We'll make Toledo an open week and see if we can add them down here. No. Fuck it, I'll play Middle Tennessee State then. Um, not getting my ass kicked for any bad reasons here. Let's see. Who can we play? Tulane. UTEP, NLB, Tennessee, so that's a non-conference. Not playing FCF either. Ah, can't play Colorado. We're gonna really play at the. Uh, I don't care. It, it doesn't matter. I don't care about the schedule. Schedule doesn't matter. I need wins so I can get players. When we get the players, then we can change the schedule. I will play Colorado, and we'll change that to uh, Mount High Stadium. So, home away, home away, home away, home away, home away, home away. Okay, we're good with that. I like having a bye week in week eight because that's the week for uh, the 73%. And it's like a, just a reminder to check the 73% because it's a bye week. Um, I don't want to play at UTEP. I'll play at Texas State. I hate UTEP Stadium. Do our red shirts and we'll call it a day. Because I'll need to make the new spreadsheet, and I probably won't do that until tonight or tomorrow because my wrist is killing me. Alright, so we are not red shirting any quarterbacks. We're gonna red shirt this freshman. We're gonna red shirt him and no one else. Um, we're not red shirting actually. No, I'm not going to redshirt either tight end. If I get another good one, I'll, re I'll redshirt one of those next year. Um, he's playing. We'll redshirt him.
<laughs> I'm debating on redshirting that senior linebacker, but he's a 77. I probably should play him. Corners, corners, corners. I'm going to redshirt one of them. Going to redshirt one of them just to get him off the same recruiting year. Because you really only need three. Right? He can be four. So we'll, we'll redshirt Swain and let the other ones play. And we will redshirt the strong. And we're done. How many seniors do we have? Look at how many freshmen are starting. Playing. One, two, three. There's ten to there. So we've got eight. Eight or nine freshmen that are playing. So there's 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 seniors. And what did I say? How many? I guess we have 64. We had 64 or 62 players. How many did I cut? We need eight plus our seniors or six plus our seniors? Because we're going to go for 25 again, but we got to fill all the holes before we start filling in for the seniors. So we may get some transfers this year unless we have a really good class. So. I'll check it out later. All right, let's go to punters and kickers. Tanner is going to be Davenport. Davenport's going to be Tanner. Here we go. All right, boys, that's it. We're done. We go save this, call it a day. It's been way longer than I anticipated. Next one won't nearly be this long. Um, we'll we'll do a lot more simming because we uh, we wanted to see the uniforms and see how these guys played since we're replacing them. So see who could stick around. So. Um, I don't know what you guys prefer. Do you want to go watch Moon Vibes play NCAA or do you want to watch uh, Franchise Gaming play uh, Fortnite? You guys let me know quick. And uh, we'll send you guys over there. Thank you, Bronco. Um, as soon as I can write again, I'll make a... Uh, I'll make a... Uh, I'll make a Discord and we can put all the recruiting stuff in one location and then when people ask me, I can just drop that link. So... All right, I haven't rated Moon in forever, so we can do Moon. That's fine. All right, so we'll get that ready. When you guys are ready, we'll go. In the meantime, I'm going to give you a thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to follow me on, on Twitter, it's vonry 11 And uh, I uh, sometimes announce when I'm going to stream out there. So anyway, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for sticking with me all day. And I will see you guys uh, over at Moon Vibes.